Hey, YouTube. Team Ruby is back together and Ruby, volume six. Yeah, and you could watch it only on Rooster Teeth. Mm -hmm. For free. For free? Nothing. Happy New Year! It's, it's 2019. Year. Welcome to the Rooster Teeth Podcast. This week brought to you by Tigtone and the Rooster Teeth Store. I'm Gus. Uh, we're missing blank chair. Oh, see that? Mm. Hello, Barb. Uh, I'm Bernie, and I'm Gus. Can I be British? Who can be British? Me or Barb? Because Gav's not here. Gav's no, here. you're fucking right, Chode. Gav's so can, close to being perfectly can, on time. Canadian, can, Canada is the closest to being British. It is. Why are you starting so on time? On, we what always start on mean? time. This isn't <laughs> off topic. How dare you? All right. What were you doing? Can you say what you were doing? Uh, achievement hunter video. You doing achievement hunter stuff? Never we uh, we started criminal masterminds. Uh oh, really? Is that a video game or a board game? <clears throat> it's GTA. It's a series. Never mind. <laughs> I watch your content. <laughs> <laughs> Did you uh, win? <laughs> just spoil it. <laughs> just get it out of the way. Man, I uh, first podcast New Year. Happy New Year! But Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Is it the first one of the year? Well, we yeah. pre-recorded the New Year's Eve one. And that, yeah, and that was also New Year's Eve. That is correct. Gus is correct. <laughs> so, <laughs> his math checks out. His math checks out. What do you guys think of the whole mentality of it being a new year and people making these decisions to change themselves or to like start fresh on something? I think it's great. I do no. too. It's easy to be cynical about it. I think it's great. I, I think, think you can oh, you can always change yourself. I think it's just an arbitrary date I think that people, you, you put pressure on. People need arbitrary on. dates. People to, need that stuff. But I feel I like Gus wouldn't like it, so I raised my chin smugly. If you if you focus on it, then it's just like you're setting yourself up to to fail at it, I think. Like if you just want to do it, then do it. I think uh, humans need excuses to oh, do humans. certain things. Humans need excuses. Uh, just in terms of like people like, oh, I'll start my diet on Monday. Are you saying animals don't care when it's New Year's Day? I'm guessing they don't. I think the only animals that care are probably dogs. <laughs> Why? Because of the fireworks? <laughs> the fireworks. Yeah, they really hate the 4th of July. They can't stand it. Yeah. They hate our freedom. You know, it's so <laughs> weird to me because cats are scared of every noise, like vacuums and stuff like that. I've never had a cat that was scared of fireworks. Hmm. Like freaked out when fireworks are going on, or or even like thunder. Yeah, dogs are freaked out by thunder and vacuums. fireworks. Are they? Oh, I was just over at Trevor's house for Christmas, and they have two dogs that are like one's a year old and one's is like maybe like eight or nine months old. They literally try to attack. If you have a broom out, if you take the broom out of the closet, they will try to attack it. Yeah, and like won't stop barking. You take a vacuum out, like you're fucked. I don't understand it. They'll attack it like they're not afraid of it. They'll just they'll bark at it and try to like nip at it. It could the broom could just be literally standing there on the floor and not moving. Do, try do, to attack when it. no one else is around, is someone hitting them with that broom? I <laughs> <laughs> That's a really I was just like, vicious I don't reaction know about the, at, maybe at the, in the broom. shelter they were in or something. I don't know. My girlfriend's cat in college, Gary, the cat. <laughs> he uh, <laughs> he hated one thing in particular. He hated if you took the pages in a book. Or like a thing of post-it notes, and you did that, like flip them like that really fast, or like you're flipping money, you know, like they always do in movies. I don't know if that works or not, but uh, if you did that, he would come and attack you. Like, yeah. And I just did, I did it to like one time. I discovered this because I was gonna like it was hot, and I was gonna go here, Gary. Here's some wind for you, and I like did that, oh, God. and he just went like, and he came out. I was like, what the fuck was that? And I've seen since then. Don't do this if you have a cat. But have you seen the videos where somebody takes a comb? And they oh, run no. their thumb down the comb, like all the little tines, because <clears throat> it makes that tick, 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 tick. Is it like Whereas, a frequency that they don't It's like, like a frequency or something that cats can't stand, and but they don't attack, they just, like, gag. They protect. They gag? Like, like huge gags. Look at the videos, because those cats have already been tortured, but don't do this to your own cat. Because apparently they really, really don't like it. They and also it, don't like it when you put down, a, like, a cucumber on the floor. No. Right. Or if you put a piece of ham on their face. <laughs> People gotta stop I mean, They like turn off. <laughs> it's like you put a ham on a cat and it's just like the cat just goes to sleep. My well, favorite... I think because that's cat heaven. <laughs> <laughs> just... Mission complete. Yeah. Shutting down. My Don't favorite... need to do anything else. My favorite ham. cat video of all time is that vine of that person putting the flower on top of the cat and she's like, no knee something. And it just like, yeah. the prophecy oh, is yeah. real. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I, always, I always want to like to see the evolution of those two. Like was the new knee video was something that somebody posted, but it was... The Matrix prophecy is true thing. Yeah. Added on top of it. That's what really took off. That's how <laughs> right. everyone remembers it. They don't remember the first thing that the person posted. Uh, there's a couple of vines that I used to watch back when Vine was a big thing that only after the fact I realized were made by uh, Avery from Crunch Time. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the original one, apparently, because that doesn't go into the prophecy as true stuff. Yeah. I got to say, I loved Vine. We used to make Vines. I was really disappointed. I felt bad when Vine went away. And a lot of those people, well, first of all, I, think, I feel like we got Logan Paul on YouTube because Vine went away. Like, he started with Vine, right? Well, that makes me hate Vine going away. I know, right? Even more than any, he should have stayed over there on Vine. But uh, I was always so impressed by everybody on Vine and their ability to do these stories yeah. in six seconds or tell a joke in six seconds. But man, I really want to like TikTok. I really oh, do yeah. want Isn't it to just like it. Music videos? No. It's there's some like short Vine stuff on there. But the thing with TikTok is it seems like everything's like a challenge. You know, there'd be stuff like trends that would go through <laughs> Vine every now and Bless then. You. Thank you. TikTok seems to be like there's basically four videos and everybody makes their version yeah. of one of those four videos, and that's it. They have yeah. that generation challenge going on right now. That's like the the big TikTok. Where they play for pop that pussy. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. it. That's the generation challenge. I see. I've seen it because I've been on TikTok, so I've seen. <laughs> I was all kidding. Of them. I mean, like where like four different generations of the family come yeah, out. Yeah, it's like the mm. great the great grandmother. <laughs> yeah, the no. great grandmother comes out and twerks to pop that pussy. It's so classy. It's great. <laughs> you, really, get, you really got to get in on that meme while you can. Get two sound bites of Bernie and Gus going pop that pussy separately. <laughs> now you got you. You were very perfectly <laughs> clear on that one. Yeah, just redub. Uh, Gav, you want to join in? Okay, give us a pop that pussy. Pop that pussy. <laughs> No, but when you said the generation thing, because one of the videos that's currently on TikTok is a girl will start playing the song and it's got this like really like benign intro to it and they're dancing and they're dancing with their mom or their dad and then it immediately goes into pop that pussy and the parents are always like, what the fuck are we listening to? So, How does one pop their pussy? I have, uh, I have uh, watched a lot of TikTok. Do you, do you, how do you watch? Do you have the app or do you watch it? I have it? the app okay. and then Gus, you load the app. The app and then it shows you a video, and then you swipe up, and you get a different video. That's it. Then when you're done, you close the app. Is, is, uh, is social media back there still? Let's, <laughs> make, let's make a TikTok. All right, got a thumbs Richard up. Richard Cheese TikTok? Is there a Richard oh, look Cheese at TikTok us account? Clamoring to be relevant. Have you, <laughs> have you guys... Um, but it's not as good as Vine. That's about No, me. definitely not. Yeah. Have you guys discussed the thing that happened with Instagram a couple weeks ago with no. the update? No. So they, what, they so they what happened? They updated I, their entire... It's fucking the funniest thing. I didn't get the update, but it changed... Scrolling to be whole it's, swiping it changed instead? It kind of like the way stories are so you could swipe or just like click on the right of a picture And it will take you to the next picture. Yeah, it kind of made the whole platform a story. Yeah hmm, navigation It wasn't the worst, but I, it definitely was a very Different functionality than what Instagram is like right now. Did you see it? I did. Yeah, I, I had it for it. like a whole day I think really? the thing to me is it didn't make sense for square pictures to be going left to right when It's a portrait phone. Yeah, and you can see more if it's going that way yeah. Well, Barb, let me ask you. So <laughs> if, if Gavin posted a photo and then right after that you post a photo mm -hmm. in my feed now, I see your photo, scroll down, I see Gavin's photo, it goes in reverse time. Yeah. So with this this tapping thing, if it, I see your photo, if I tapped it, would I see your next photo or would I see Gavin's? Gavin's. So oh, it's so basically feed. just your feed. Huh. And then if you scroll downwards, you just get the comments. So you don't actually have to click into the photo to get the comments. It just mm. gets scrolled it up. It seems to kind of make sense. It wasn't the worst. I was so confused because I woke up and I was, it was, I was using it like that. And then I was trying to tell Tony, I was like, Instagram's gone a bit weird. And then she didn't have it and I didn't have it anymore. So I was like... Maybe I was just crazy. Weird. Well, they did it the was update. So brief. And when they did the update, they had a screen that popped up that's like Instagram has a new look. Like, do this to go this way and see all these functionalities and all that stuff. Like an instructional kind of pop-up. I didn't realize that companies can update their apps without forcing an update. I didn't realize that either. Because I didn't like download a new update for Although that. Does app. your phone I update? I have automatic here. Yeah, at night. But I also then they, they just pulled it immediately. They pulled it like presently. Yeah. Did they say that they <clears throat> did that by accident? Is that the story I heard? Mm-hmm. That they didn't mean to push that update line? push it, yeah. But they they said they wanted to put it to a, a much smaller user base, like a test base, but accidentally put it to everyone. But people were just like, you didn't mean to put this out yet. You had instructions on people, how to use it. People were outraged. Oh, no, they didn't say it was an update even. They said there was a bug. People hate change. They said it was like a bug in the in the app. Yes, that's definitely not a bug. And then. someone's it, like, what kind of bugs have instructions on how to use this bug? Yeah. It's a bug that you're seeing. They're supposed, you're supposed to see this next month. Yeah, yeah. Do we have any beer? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. So I was I was talking with I, I was I was walking through the Target over here by the studio the other day, and I ran in and I, I I was walking by the beer section and I saw they had a s'mores flavored beer. Got it right here. And uh, it's made by Shiner. I texted <laughs> I texted it a picture to Eric. Shiner and I was Texas. Like, and he said it was really good. And I said that sounds disgusting to me. Which part of s'mores? Like, 
the chocolate the whole, and marshmallow. The whole s'mores part. <laughs> s'mores is, in, by definition, like the combination of the graham cracker, marshmallow, and chocolate. Right, like, if it was like, one of the parts, they would probably call it that part. It would yeah. be chocolate beer. That'd be like having like Thanksgiving dinner beer. It's like too much stuff to you be one flavor. You never had a Thanksgiving but day sub? Hell yeah, I want one. They, they, yeah, that's those, exactly those what we exist. wanted. Two beers. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Cool. Do we not have three <laughs> s'mores? I know we have more, dude. <laughs> can I show? Can I show this level? <laughs> so here's a s'mores beer. I think from he made Shiner. one for each of us. Maybe. <laughs> Who was that? I didn't even see. It <laughs> was. I want to taste this, Phil. So, uh, so hey, uh, clear your mind. A poll. Would people? Would like, the viewers who are watching right now? Would you drink a s'mores beer? Let me read the label for our, it's Shiner beer. Uh, s'more beer. It's chocolate and marshmallow ale. No mention of Graham. Ooh, well, there you go. That it's is two not, thirds of a s'more. Not quite it's a just s'more? smoo. <laughs> it's a smless. I would not have tried this if, if Eric didn't bring it here. What makes a cracker a Graham cracker? No. Oh, What's, that is. You never would have tried it? No, it sounds gross. Dude. It's potable. Yeah, no, I like it. Yeah, I'm not, it's not bad, right? It's, it's it, it, for as gimmicky as it sounds, Eric. All right, bring that in. Look at that 100% right now, baby. Not too bad. Look bring at that it they in. Tried. I would love we... to try real s'mores you, without. Sir. Without dog shit Hershey's chocolate. No, oh, stop it. No, seriously. I heard the Cadbury got bought by somebody, and now their recipe's all fucked up. Who they get Hershey's. bought by? They got bought by Hershey. Wasn't that wasn't that ages ago? Was it Hershey? Yeah, they bought Cadbury. I think Nestle. Nestle like seems a, like they fuck it's, everything. It's up. like a hostile takeover. The Graham cracker was inspired by the preaching of Sylvester Graham. Are you saying Graham or are you saying Graham? G R A H A M. Okay. Uh, Wasn't it like a Puritan thing? Yeah, he was influenced by the 19th century temperance movement. He believed a vegetarian diet anchored by homemade whole grain bread made from wheat coarsely ground at home as part of a lifestyle that involved minimizing pleasure and stimulation of all kinds was how God intended people to live. Right. It's uh, no no masturbation, no pleasures. <laughs> so Graham Cracker's a pleasureless cracker. Mm -hmm. Somebody had a cracker who went, Not in my opinion. too much. <laughs> Graham, I am too enjoying this. Is that why a s'more was made <laughs> to make this thing pleasureless down. crackers so well, much more pleasurable? The devil invented s'mores to try to get back at Sylvester Graham. I don't know about you right, guys, but I feel like I could have one s'more and yeah, then I'm done. They're always better idea than they are in practice. In practice so a yeah. s'more is, is the equivalent of inseminating yourself with a condom. <laughs> what? What? Inseminating yourself with a condom? <laughs> like you dig it out of the trash? Like making something that's... <laughs> Awfully unpleasurable, really pleasurable. What? Like the cra the cracker? What you were saying? And they're meant to be like misery crackers, right? But <laughs> let him let him go. Let him go. Keep going. <laughs> you can't even get through it. I ran out of steam. <laughs> I couldn't go anymore. Normally, I got you, man. Normally, I can. <laughs> it <laughs> makes sense. You broke, you broke me with that one. Like something made for prevention, but does the opposite. Okay, I see, where, I see where you're going oh. now. There you go. Okay, I got you. There, so you yeah. knocked yourself up with a condom. This is where you, you got from that. Before explaining that, I was the most confused I've been around you. <laughs> What's Blaine? What are you eating? Is he having pizza? Did he get some of it? He's shaking his head no. Can I, Blaine can I got mad at me today because I pulled stuff? a classic move. We're moving into new offices today, and I'm right near Blaine. And Gus, I did a classic Bernie move in the Rashid office. <laughs> Blaine was eating lunch. Oh, and you what put did I do? <laughs> What's that? You put your toe in. I know I put my toe in. You it. Put your finger. I put my finger in his food. Uh, his uh, hand. It's toe. been a while. <laughs> it's, yeah, and he was pretty upset with me. Was I it a special meal you brought, or was it like the catered meal? It's like those egg white things that you can get from Starbucks, little egg white bites. Yeah, I only got two of them. They're very small, and he just went <laughs> right in the middle, and I was did, like, "Did he? Did he do the? What is this?" And he, like stick his finger yeah. in. Yeah, good idea. I saw it coming, and I was like, "I don't." Know. Uh, okay. Was it ruined? Like, could you still eat it? He I still ate it. Immediately continued eating it. You but could was, always like still a champ. Eat it. Just tasted salt here. That's not. My hands are fine. <laughs> my hands are clean all the time. <laughs> my hands are not clean all the time. All the time, guys. Are, when's the last time you washed your hand? I just literally washed them ten minutes ago. How mad would you be if I just spat in your hand? Here, right taste now. my hands, Barb. <laughs> 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 back, back, back me up for Blaine here. Taste my Somebody, hands. give me a lick, Gav. You tell him it's nah, okay. I've got s'mores on my mouth. Well, to be fair, the worst thing I ever did, honestly, and I really feel bad about it this day, is I did stick my toe into Jeff's burrito. Jeff's burrito. Yeah. burrito? Where, why were you? <laughs> we were we were at the office. We're at, right? It's like we were at the beauty apartment. Morning. Yeah, he was just so weird. happy about it. He was so happy. Not about the toe. <laughs> no, no, no. About the burrito. About like, the burrito, and I just had to ruin it for him. Would so. you still eat a burrito if somebody stuck their toe in it? Depends on the person, not Gus, but other people. Yeah, sure. I would eat anything, no matter what. 
What? what are, I don't like. <laughs> Like I don't care who sticks what body parts in it. I'm eating it. Barbara, are you hungry for pizza? Because we can test this. Do there's it. Pizza over there. Stick your dick in it. Well, I'll what eat someone it. What if someone just flemmed on a pizza? Uh, well, Here's what I would do. <laughs> Touching it is different. If than someone put their toe on my food, mm -hmm. I would go Google their name and see like how far down in their autocompletes is feet. Yeah, it indicates how nice their feet are. Like Grace Helbig was what third entry was feet? Something like that. Something like that. Or look them up on like, Wiki Feet. Yeah, only nine point five or above on yeah. Wiki Feet. Yeah, only if they have like socially acceptable. I think it's out of five stars. Oh, uh, four point five. <laughs> <It's> five toes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give you a ranking. Anytime we did uh, like a million dollars butt scene where someone's feet would be in it, like there was a scene where like Elise we had a close up on her feet, and I put her in the ugliest slippers possible. I was like, I'm not gonna give Wiki Feet this one. They'll still, they'll still take it. <laughs> It's weird. I don't. I don't get it. But. Did you have anybody that protested that? Uh, that no. Everybody wanted their feet covered. Really? Yeah. yeah. I once had a guy who like he, he messaged me like weird kinks, and I wasn't wearing this watch anymore. And he's like, "Hey, why aren't you wearing this specific model watch?" And I went to his profile, and he had just a bunch of like bondage photos, and I was like, uh, "I'm not gonna wear that." Do you, watch. Do you think a watch is a bondage thing? I, I guess this guy did. He liked my watch. He liked your uh, paraphernalia. Do you think your feet are private? Feet. Yeah, like, would you have your feet on camera? I mean, if you knew that a guy was going to be masturbating to your chest, like a picture of your chest, would you want to show off your chest all that much? Well, or would you, you don't think keep people jerk yourself? off to you, to your photos of you? Do you think people? I know people yeah. do. I can verify that people do. Yeah, I think do. people hid jerk off to you. <laughs> Blaine, I never thought about That's it. It's honor. Have yeah. you ever heard <laughs> of a cum tribute? Huh. What's that? Ugh. <laughs> it's where someone basically takes a picture of you and jerks off onto it and like basically has all their cum specifically a picture of me anybody oh, okay wouldn't yeah. that like it's just called a cum the, tribute wouldn't that like ruin all the ink on the paper i Waste have a lot been of ink. Seen, I, I, upset I, about a finger in egg whites y'all are upset about that <laughs> i bet uh this was made up by printer companies to make you spend more money on ink it could also be like a, a screen with a picture of you mm, wherever you, know. you reckon <laughs> you gotta clean the screen <laughs> at that point look you ever touch somebody's phone and then you, Our you feet know private. <laughs> <laughs> but wiki feet sounds like wiki leaks, so I'm gonna say yes. Is that gonna be the next shirt that we make? Our feet private. <laughs> Our feet private. My feet are no. private, or my feet are public. Well, yeah. you go to the, everybody can take their shoes off, so no. But I don't think they you don't do have the beach. to. Well, I mean, like some people wouldn't want to show their feet to the world. All the people are voting that they aren't private. Those are the people with oh. the, the feet kinks, have and they seen, want you to show you off your feet. Your do, you, do you leave your shoes on at the beach? N no. Yeah, but you cover other areas. I hope. Uh, well, it depends on the beach, Bernie. Do you have a little, like, do you, are you a Speedo guy? Because you're pretty built. I got, I, I wear the, uh, you know, okay, all right. Daniel Craig, James Bond, uh, what is it? Casino Royale? What, they call boy shorts if they were on a girl? Yeah. Th Boys, that's what I wear. He's doing, like, the Honey Rider like coming out square? the ocean. Yeah. It's like a little square. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I had this, right. like, not those exact ones, because those are, like, a you, couple hundred bucks. You wear booty shorts. You wear booty shorts. Well, like, no, I'll, I'll wear those, but I'll wear, like, the 70s, When like, you wear them, do you pop that pussy? <laughs> <laughs> you wait, Blaine... <laughs> Blaine, do you, <laughs> do you watch TikTok at all? No. You gotta watch TikTok. I don't we're, like, no, we're, that's we're like making Vine. a Rooster TikTok. I don't like it. What is that? Is, is Keisha this, on it? Rooster Teeth, that's where you work. <laughs> it, no, isn't TikTok like you, it plays a song and then you, you synchronize it with an action or some shit? Well, no. I just I, see the fucking ads on YouTube and I hate them. Yeah, like the... We're not sponsored by them, are we? That's very, no, 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 no. That's very specifically, <laughs> what you guys are talking about is like, that's musically. Right? That's that, I thought Musical.ly is now TikTok. Is that what happened? Is that where TikTok came That's from? That's why I thought Looking. it was the same Eric, thing. Eric, is that what happened? Eric, you have yes, to sir. know everything. Really? Yeah. Do you have a Musical.ly TikTok account? No, I do not. Yeah, bullshit. I feel like TikTok's a worse name. Then Musical.ly? No. So, uh, in November better. 2017, TikTok's parent company spent a billion dollars to purchase Musical.ly. Can you Great believe investment. it was worth a, mil a billion? A billion. That, I don't know. That doesn't seem that outrageous to me in the world where, like, WhatsApp is worth 18 billion. I mean, Musical.ly was definitely one of the top 10 or top 15 social yeah. media platforms. It was up there. It's hard to get into that ta territory. I didn't like Musical.ly. I didn't use Musical.ly. It's useful to know younger people. I feel like if Millie's using it, it's worth billions of dollars. Yeah, she's, she's got her finger on the pulse. Yeah. It's yeah. not worth a Millie. If is? Millie uses it and then loses her account and then gets it back. Then that's how you know it's good. But I'm I'm shocked at how close this poll is, by the way. I just Are feet get back being to private? It. it reminds me of that picture. Have you seen the picture of the shoe shop? And it's called Bare Feet Shoes. But the B isn't lit up, so it just says Our Feet Shoes. Oh, yeah. It's like a really 
It's like a question. For some reason, our when feet, you said bear yes. feet, I was picturing bear as in bear. And I was like, ear feet. That's what I said. I did the same thing in my head. <laughs> I did the exact same thing. Yeah. Well, Blaine, I'm sorry that I ruined your already terrible sandwich with egg whites. I just needed the protein. I'm back on my cutting phase. So don't, yeah. I don't want your extra carbs on your fingers. I don't know. What you, you got do. it. All right. Okay, so it's the carbs that Bernie uh, has on his fingers. Oh, and, and people should let me know. Actually, don't let me know if you masturbate to me. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> what an instant oh, no, I'm, per I'm perplexed by the idea that people. All right, you poll. Do you masturbate to Blaine? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Have you ever? Have yeah. you ever have masturbated to Blaine? Can I vote in this? What about would you ever? Go to risky.com slash play if you're why watching live. Why don't we have a raise of hands just on the couch first? Ever master? Nah. You're lying. Uh, uh, we're you know we're probably a fifty percent household. You know, in my, my house. <laughs> you know. Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Have you ever masturbated? I'll stick around for the results and then I'll leave. But uh, I just, just give, give him stay a nice look. Zero. Give him a nice look. You're, I would not want to go in. No, your no. Oh. That's a that's a decent ratio, dude. You should this be proud. Is probably of that. currently only like four people. Yeah, yeah. What are you hoping for? Yes or no? Yeah. A lot of yeses, I guess. Keep in mind, you, you seem we have like a fifty percent yes. Keep in mind, we fine. have a usually 80-20 male to female ratio for our content. Yeah. So if we get 80 20, so that you're tracks. right on the mark. Okay, then I'm doing okay then. Unless you're, you, yeah, you ever masturbated to a lady? Yes. There you go. So there yeah. you go. You counting like porn there? What do you masturbate with people in the room? What are you doing with? What, what are you talking <laughs> I think, about? I think what Gavin so means, the difference like, between masturbating to females in porn or just a picture of someone that you know, okay. like like you Google Wait a woman. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's what I. That's what Viewers I do. at home. I look for stock images of women. <laughs> people need to masturbate like right now so that they can change their their vote. Yeah, you could. You could. You could masturbate and then it went up, then went down. Give them a nice look into the camera so they have some material. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. I'm not gonna do that. All right, you're a beautiful man. That's not bad. Now I'm hard. All right. All right. Thank Bye God guys. we didn't vote Thanks, in the Blaine. Bye, Blaine. That would have been the same results if you did the uh, cast voting too. 2775. <laughs> would have been the same. One quarter of us have right there. Ah, uh, gotcha. You gonna come out and go on record saying you've uh, masturbated to Blaine or not? I have not masturbated to Blaine. Okay. I'll, I'll come out on record and officially say that. Sorry, Blaine. I like you. I like you though. He was the one you were hoping for. He's he's a nice guy. Um, if you need more protein, Blaine. Just do a cum tribute. You'll be good. <laughs> I was gonna, do, I was gonna do an ad read there, but I guess uh, we'll, we'll <laughs> you want to get a little distance from that. <laughs> we'll wait on yeah. that one. Yeah, I want to give some space. <laughs> All right, let's talk about CES because CES is going on right now. Did you see the the folding yeah. television? Did the, you? See, I was that comes out of the Gav box. Saw that folding television. It's what? like a, uh, an LG OLED that's in a box, and then when you turn it on, it comes out of the box. It's 65 inches, and we turn it off, it it's rolls back up. It's a foldable TV, it just box. rolls up out of a box. Like a projector screen kind of thing? A little bit, yeah. Is it OLED? It's an L yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what the awesome. OLED meant. Um, when I said that. How do you store that? <laughs> it's just a box. It's just a box. You, you just put that on your entertainment center, and it's nothing, so you have a picture there. And then people and then come over and they say, What's in the box? <laughs> and then, and that's then, it's then the movie word. 7 comes yeah. out. <laughs> the problem I have to say is that the box, and this is a really. Stupid complaint. It's amazing that a TV rolls up like that, but the box because it rolls up ends up being bigger It's so you have yeah. this big rectangular box sitting there Eventually though probably won't matter. You'll probably just have like some kind of like device You set down that does a holographic display. I got for Teddy for Christmas. He really wanted it. It's pretty cool I got Teddy this little uh, It's like a little obelisk like a little like Square cylinder. What is that? What's that called? The square cylinder. Cuboid. Oh, rectangular. Square it's like a tall square. Like a, it's like Re a rectangular, rectangular cylinder. prism. There you go. Kind of okay. like that. It's a little black thing. A little obelisk. And it, it's like about three or four inches tall. It just sits in front of the monitor and it projects with a laser a keyboard oh. onto a surface of like the table. And then you sit there and type. I think I've seen those on Sky Mall before. Dude, it works perfectly. Yeah, I was. I got it for the... him because I thought he he asked for it and it, I thought it was just like a gimmicky toy. I would totally get one of these things shit. for the road. Well, that it would works really be like having an iPad, though, wouldn't it? Is this uh, uh, the TV what? or the oh? This is like there's no, no this tactile is... feedback because there's no keys. It'd be like typing on glass. But it goes like yeah, a little bit. But it, you, it makes a noise too. Goes as you Man, type. There it is. What the hell? LG a bloody see that box though. It's a little yeah, big. It's big. Pioneers, but that's aren't they? Cool. It's like a super sound bar. Smaller than a TV. 
Have you seen the I can't, I can't wait till like 13 True. months in and the motor burns out and your TV's like stuck in the box and you can't get it it's to like come out. It's like the old windows that's stuck <laughs> yeah. in the in the cold. Or it's got like a little handle you have to reach in and like manually pull it out yeah. before you get it cranked. <laughs> Great. And have you Cranked seen the, the wall TV by Samsung? That's, that was already announced. That's, that was last year or the year before. But That looks really cool. It's but like modular. The problem is like how do you determine what signal goes where? Like do you have to learn how to pixel map your, your video sources? And what, and what happens with resolution? Like surely... Right. There's a fixed amount of pixels on each piece. There's, there's a lot of questions I Pardon have about me. it. Good lord. Wow. But yeah, it's it's very interesting. I guess it's the way people can make, or if they move, like say you have a 200 inch TV and it's like, I'm going to move to a smaller place. Now I have two 70 inch TVs or whatever. It's interesting. Yeah. I like CES and I like E3 because I think that those two industry events are different than ever, almost every other one because you end up seeing those things in manufacture. Mm -hmm. And I hate with like, you know, car shows, boat shows, stuff like that, where they just they just show you stuff and they're never going to fucking make it. Yeah, they I, show I, you all yeah. this conceptual stuff. I hate concept like cars. That, yes. And you're, you're like, concept cars, that's really cool. The final product's never going to look like that. Nothing. It's going to look like, like a shitty, stupid version of every other car. Have you ever bought anything you saw at CES? I've never been to CES, I don't think. Or I guess that was that you saw... Online at CES, I must have. It might be my favorite show to go to. Re you know what? Yeah. I don't like CES, <clears throat> and I hate CES because I get anger when I think about CES about something that happened years ago. And Gus, let's see if you, how you well you know me. What is the thing that happened to CES that still makes me mad to this day? When you got snubbed at the AVNs that were going on at the same time. AVNs, <laughs> yeah. They, they Someone <laughs> did a come tribute of you. you in no, of your you're close on. with come tribute because it was Gizmodo. Was that after CES? Was it was it was the CES? I don't know. Well, they remember. were turning off the things? Yeah, they went around oh, with that yeah, thing yeah, and they were yeah. turning off they some booth was giving out these devices. Like they were called it TV Be Gone? TV Be Gone. So if like you're in a restaurant, the TV's playing, yeah. you have this little thing in your keychain, you hit it, and it runs through all the off codes for TVs and just go like runs through them really fast. So you can basically turn off any TV with this That's thing. That's fucked up. And because they were giving away with CES, the, the reporter Gizmodo thought it would be funny. He just went to people who were doing presentations, and when they're in the middle of the presentation, now look and see what this display looks, and he would shut everything off. And it's like, I've been one of those people that has to, to present at conventions, and they thought it was fucking, they thought it was funny enough to do, and then they thought it was funny enough to publish it and put this out on their gadget-based website. People and I literally just, are years on whatever they're doing. I here. was, I don't know what it was. It was Gizmodo did like two or three things in a row that I got so yeah. the fucking, halo bag, C the halo bag was the other one. That was the, that was CES so 2008. bad. 2008. What was it? CES 2008. It was, right? It was, yeah, fuck. That well, was right when we started the podcast. It's going around raising the heart rate of totally innocent people just trying to do that job. They're just trying to do their job. They And they probably worked on that for that presentation. They probably it, couldn't sleep the night before. Right! They, yeah, they were like probably prepared for months to do it. And then some dope with a goddamn remote thing turns it off. Even after that, even at our booth, I started having to put tape over the remote sensors. Because oh. I think that inspired other people at conventions. You to start guys had a booth at CES? No, at, at other shows. At PAX oh. and stuff. Yeah, we'd have like TVs. Nah. Yeah. We had to, <laughs> what are we doing there? <laughs> I think later we did the Griff Ball tournament. I remember we had to tape up all the sensors mm -hmm. because of that. And because people, you know, people see something and then they all do it. They, and it becomes yep. like a thing like everybody thought of, you know, mm -hmm. for years. And then it just goes away eventually. Yep. We should play Griff Ball again. Griff Ball is great. We should go into Halo 3, load up the old map, mm -hmm. and have a tournament. It's one of the things we talked about for November. We oh, talked really? about playing Griff Ball next of, November, but you and I played our Battle Royale on Lockout, that game we made years ago. Yeah. What do we call that? Fiesta? It's Elimination Fiesta. Elimination Fiesta, yeah. But I don't think we had a name. I don't, think we, yeah, I don't think we had a name for it. I'm trying to think of a name that would incorporate, or a month that would incorporate my name somehow, and the closest thing I could think of was July. <laughs> Let's do that. I'll play all of Barbara's favorite games during <laughs> July. <laughs> why, why July, not June? Oh, oh. June. I don't June. know. It's just nicer. Yeah, it has, July has two syllables. Yeah. It's, it's easier. Uh, here, I'm going to read this. I uh, want to remind everyone, this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by Tigtone. Tigtone is a new weird-ass animated show from Adult Swim. It's about a fantasy hero, Tigtone, who goes on quests. Lots and lots of quests. So get ready for a fantastical love letter for all things fantasy. The main goal of most of Tigtone's quests, luckily enough for him, is to kill lots and lots of creatures. Joined by his helpful sidekick, Helpy, Tigtone will do anything to fulfill a quest, mostly by sacrificing Helpy, while taking advantage of Helpy's power of rejuvenation. 
The world is weird, <coughs> funny, true, and fantasy. Sounds a lot like animated D&D. Animation is like nothing you've seen before, and the humor is the crazy fun stuff you'd expect from Adult Swim. The quest begins January 13th at midnight, only on Adult Swim. Uh, I've seen the commercials for it. Can't wait to see all the hilarious quests Tigtone goes on. The trailer is action-packed and won't let you forget the name Tigtone. You check out Tigtone on Sunday, January 13th at midnight on Adult Swim. It's January 13th at midnight. Tigtone. <laughs> you can check out the trailer in the link below. What's his name? It's Tigtone. You see it right there. Tigtone. Tigtone with an exclamation point. Thank you, Tigtone. Tigtone! What's We're his name? Tigtone. So... I have to admit something. I don't think we've talked about this before, but while we're talking about CES, Blaine was just here. I've got to out myself a little bit. Uh, Gav came over to my house and we we're playing Red Dead, and he was looking at my TV and said, "Why don't you have it in UHD? Why aren't you playing Red Dead?" And I got that big TV to cover that hole that was in my wall, which I don't want to get down that <laughs> road again. That hole. I don't want to go through that road again. But you understand the hole now that you've seen it, right? I totally get it. Okay, great. Yeah. See, it makes sense. You just need to bring everyone to it. Yeah, and show them the enormous hole in the wall. That I had to cover with the TV. <laughs> so I got a TV. So all I cared about for the TV was the dimensions because I had to cover that hole. That's the only criteria I used to buy the TV. Uh, and so I found one that was the perfect dimensions, got it, put it in, had it installed, went in the went in the space. It was perfect. But I found out later it didn't have UHD because I went to my Xbox. And Did you talk about UHD or HDR? Uh, HDR. Am I talking about you? HDR. That's what I'm talking about. So I went to my Xbox One X and tried to turn on HDR. It says, your TV doesn't have that. And I was like, oh, bummer. I... You know, I didn't think about that when I bought the TV. I was just so focused on the dimensions. So when Gavin asked me, I said that same thing. Yeah, I got the TV, but it doesn't have HDR. And he goes, yes, it does. It's just not turned on. I, well, I feel like we were having a separate discussion. I was like, people love keywords. People like, they want 4K, even though like you, nothing broadcast in 4K, really. People want HDR, but almost everyone who has an HDR TV never enables it. It's not on by default on most TVs. And we were just having that discussion. You're like, oh, mine doesn't have it. And I was like, I bet it does, though. <laughs> and then we goes in. Two seconds, he turns it on and turns on HDR. Oh, and then we TV. ran, we ran like the Xbox test again. It's like check, 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 check. And I was like, yeah, no one does it though. No one knows to do that. When, because it's so stupid. And sometimes it doesn't work right. Like when I got my most recent TV, the one that I have now, I went through and I did the same thing where it's like, do the HDR test. It doesn't work. Then I had to go through, enable it in the TV, redo the test on the Xbox. Didn't work. Then I had to like hard power cycle the Xbox, and I guess it re handshakes or something. And then yeah. all of the checks worked. And fine. the option is never in where you'd expect it. I feel like a lot of people do go into their options. They're like, oh, I'll find it, and it's just never there. But it usually has to be done on like a per input basis. Yes. Like I have to go and find the input that my Xbox or whatever is plugged into and enable it on that specifically. And then it's on. It, it doesn't make any yeah, sense. I don't, I don't know why that. they do that. It's always surprising to me in the, in the first revision of typically hardware, they just get stuff wrong. Like, you know there's a better <laughs> implementation of how they you could just turn on HDR. Yeah. And it's just, it's wrong. And I get it sometimes like uh, when you have an Xbox One at launch, it's got the power brick, and then like a year later, they have the much smaller one that's just as powerful, and there's no, no power no brick. brick. Yeah. And it's been that way for the last couple of generations of the Xbox. I get from a manufacturing level that things improve, but I'm always surprised like on a software level when it's like, I know this is just, they have to know this is just the bad way to do this. And, and if it's written on the box and in all of the marketing material in big fat letters, it should be like two or three clicks away on the remote. There should be a button on your remote that says HDR? Question mark? Yeah. I don't get it. I just remembered because hearing you talk about it that way, I know what started the conversation. We were talking about the Tom Cruise mo motion smoothing video yeah. that he put out. Did mm -hmm. you see that for Mission Impossible? Mm -hmm. No. Him, him and the director of it Top Gun. Top Gun. I think so. But they were talking about Mission Impossible. Yes. I think uh, they were. They did a whole PSA like video and released on the internet about how to turn off <clears throat> motion smoothing yeah. on your TV. And I was like, Thank, this is awesome. I'm glad they actually put out this video. I cannot fucking stand. Can't stand it either. That I, and whenever I go over so, to someone's house to watch a movie and they have it on, I'd go, "Oh, you guys um like this?" I'm like, "Like what?" I'm like, "It's like you don't notice smooth. how it's very smooth and it's like this weird. It takes me out of the movie." So, so who likes it then? There's a, a bunch of people who like it, There's and I always tell them to turn it off. And I then... use it for specific things. Like I play Red Dead with it slightly on, because slightly on because I'm I'm too close to my TV sometimes where it's like the the periphery will be really juddery and be like, oh. And if mm. I just put it on like three out of ten, because it's like a level for it. Really? It's uh, it doesn't, it's not distracting to me. That's interesting. I, mean, I haven't had a level. But for other stuff, I turn it off. It's like it's a per use thing. I would never put it on a film. For some ever. reason, it, it always reminds me of when someone records a movie on their phone or on a video camera and uploads it. Like it doesn't look like it almost looks like the quality's worse. 
mm. when it's that smoothing feature. And I don't like. I know it's probably incorrect in thinking. Can that, you but. watch like sixty FPS videos that people put up? Yeah. Yeah. But like, like, can you watch? I you definitely play noticed plays. Oh, all our let's plays are at sixty FPS typically yeah. if it's from PC. I mean, usually it's video games though. Most most of the footage is video games, right? Like, what do you shoot uh, between the games in? I I shoot sixty four K on my phone. Mm hmm. Yeah, sixty K video. I mean, I mean, uh, sixty FPS video. I don't mind it, but I definitely notice it when I see it. It's yeah. like everything just seems like super, super smooth, you know. And it's, it's not necessarily like the way I feel about when I see something that's like 4K or when high def came out. It was like, oh, that's fucking amazing that now we have these high def graphics like that. That's incredible. I don't have that same feeling when I see 60 FPS or like 48 frames for The Hobbit. You know, I wasn't like, oh, this is amazing. I've been waiting for this. You know, that was not my reaction. I used to always get asked why Slumber Guys videos weren't at 60 FPS. But it's, it's just division. It's like if I shoot a, a, a thousand frames a second, yeah. divide that by sixty. You got to cut it up. up. It's way faster than if I div divide it by twenty-four or twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I finally saw. Speaking of like frame rate and stuff like that, I saw Spider-Man finally into the Spider-Verse. Yeah, I still haven't seen. It. I really want to see. We talked that. about this, and we already <laughs> barbed me, you and me. I saw it on Saturday. So unless I saw. Oh really? You, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I said I wanted to, but fuck, that is. A beautiful, it's awesome. Fucking, movie. I wonder what that won, would look like in motion smoothing. It, right? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. gonna be interesting. To see it won that. the Golden Globe last night. Yeah, best, best animated. animated. Mm -hmm. It won it. Mm -hmm. Won it. It beat Incredibles two. I'm gonna start making fun of your fucking accent, dipshit. <laughs> I'm with you, guys. <laughs> what else did it beat? What was it animated this year? Uh, Wreck It Ralph two, <laughs> Incredibles two, something else, and then another thing, and then Spider Verse, and, Spider -verse and then one. another thing. And I played really close attention. I don't watch any fucking award shows. You know what I found out though? Gavin doesn't watch animated movies. No, not typically. Really? Not even like the Animatrix? No, I just don't really go for animation in like a long form. I, 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 I find myself. Yeah, it's, it's less the CG stuff and more like the hand drawn stuff. But I just. Not too lose, much of that these days. I just lose concentration from it. But like Lion King. Yeah, as a kid, I was fine with it. I feel like as I've gotten older, it's like I find it really hard to watch anime or like an animated film. Even like, like you said you've never seen The Incredibles, which to me is one of the best films. Animation or not, and I'm then, not sure what it is. I think I just like seeing real people on screen, and I also like to figure out how they did stuff. And yeah. with animation, it's like now mm -hmm. just someone just drew it. But with real, with like live action stuff, usually it's like oh, they had to put the camera. on Do this you thing. not like movies with computer generated effects or computer animation? Not if it's too much. You I like mean, Deadpool, like Colossus is completely CG. Yeah, it's distracting to me. You don't like it? I don't even like. I find it very difficult to look at Iron Man in the Avengers movies. I feel like you'd be because it's not a real suit. Fuck you. Because you said you said the animation takes you out of it. And don't bring Iron Man into this. What's wrong with it? But well, in the first movie, he was a real suit. It was like you talk about the new one, <laughs> the, the nanotech suit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we have an average. Can I get mad at each other? Oh no, it's okay. It's a lost cause. Um, but you're saying how animation? You say it takes you out of it, but then when you watch a film in live action, you say you're trying to figure out how they did everything. Wouldn't that take you out of it? Like, if you watch an animated film, you're not trying to think about how they did things. The thing so is, with that, I'm, still, I'm still thinking about the film. I feel like a lot of the time I have quite a lot on my mind, so it's nice to just sit back and, like, just think about this film. But with animation, sometimes I just end up thinking, like, what I'm going to do after this movie. So, <laughs> oh, shit, and then I'm not paying attention. I think it's just, like, I've never been diagnosed with any ADHD. I don't think I have that. But I just, it, I just lose focus from the you movie when it's... You, not people. You need to see a real face to give it attention. <laughs> I don't know why that is though. It never used to be the case for me. But like the, I mean, I guess it's probably not as close, but like some animated films are so great that it almost looks like a real person in something. Yeah, like, it's, it's more, it's different with, with more of the CG looking stuff. Yeah. As opposed to like the, what's your favorite animated thing? Long swig of beer. Genlock episode one. <laughs> <laughs> Comes out in 19 days. Holy is it really? 19 days? Wow. wow. Man. I'd say the, like, the last thing I watched that was... It might have been Red vs. Blue. I guess that counts as animated, right? Mm -hmm. It's an animated show. Yeah. Even when it was in Halo. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, it's just a... Machinima is a different kind of animation. But there's yeah. no... There's no other... Any other way to classify that show other way, other than an animated show. It's got voice it's like actors and... Live-rendered CG. Yeah. I always yeah. love that, too, when people talk about... Reverse blue. In fact, there was a, a some post, a meme post that made it to the top of I saw Reddit. That. Yeah, it's an animated show, but you're not animating it. What's that? <laughs> it's an animated show that you just didn't animate. 
Yeah, yeah. But, but there it's were like, animators who made those animations. But we did, right. yeah, but exactly. We, that, yeah. But you personally. You puppeted right. other people's It's animations. puppeteering. It's, it's, it doesn't really fit in that. And it's funny, too, because uh, one of the comments was, wait, that's, that's uh, one of the best machinimas of all time. Like, what are they? There really aren't that many other <laughs> machinimas. It's, like a weird, it's a weird category to just make. It's like Out of all five machinimas. I think people <laughs> wanted machinima to be a bigger thing than it was. Like, we were always doing interviews of, like, how this is going to be this art form that everyone's using, and it's just like, nah, this didn't happen. <laughs> what happened was some company just, you know, named themselves after it and confused the hell out of everybody about it. So, um, but I, uh, I really like that because that 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 post on Reddit because I love to go whenever Red versus Blue shows up somewhere. Also, <laughs> I love to go in any kind of like when there's a photo of a big cat, you know, like a yeah. mountain lion or something. I'll always click on that, and, sh and there's always that person pretty far down who says, looks like a puma, you know, or something. I kind of like the fact that for there's a group of people for which we have ruined a word, you know? Yeah. Like, puma <laughs> is ruined for some people. Like, they, it, it'll always come around to that. Yeah. And I love that, because it's like, when I go in there, uh, into that uh, Reddit thread of the red versus blue meme, which wasn't a red versus blue line at all. Like no, that wasn't uh, that wasn't a scene at all from RVB. I think yeah. it was just a quote from a different meme that they yeah. used. I don't know. Movie. I saw. I read it. I was like, I don't fucking remember that. It sounds like something O'Malley would say. It does, but it wasn't. Yeah, somebody called out because they said Doc would never push that hard. Like he would just be accepting but, of it. Okay, that's, like a, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, when I go in those comments, it's just like people doing one quote after another yep. for red versus blue. This is like some of those are like 15 years ago, 16 years ago. And I, it, it makes me super proud because when I was in high school, we would go to Blockbuster or the video store, you know, and we would like figure out what we were going to watch. And the same thing happened every single time we went to the video store is we're looking, everyone's holding up like, what, what do I want to watch this? It's like, no, I don't want to fucking watch Road Warrior or whatever, you know. And uh, somebody inevitably would hold up Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And then what we would do for the rest of the night was just say Monty Python quotes. And that's, it was just like, we'd go through and you were, you Knew someone was going to take the next one you wanted to do, right? Because we just knew that thing so well. And it felt like this, even though it was really, Monty Python was really, I think, well known. Holy Grail still felt like this underground kind of cool Especially thing. Especially back then, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, just, it, felt sure. like, it felt like not a lot of people knew about it. But then all my friends were like quoting it and stuff like that. So I love I loved to go in those <clears> right there. I still get proud to this day when I go in there and see like people quoting stuff that I wrote, you know, 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. Now, now it's you. Now they're holding up red versus blue DVDs. <laughs> yeah, it just reminds you. It just reminds you that experience that I had. You know, when I was. I feel like in I high never school. stopped quoting the stuff I quoted when I was a teenager. I still quote like, like Friends my, and and Simpsons. Yeah, like my growing up years. That stuff is like locked in a special place where yeah. it's like stuff after it will come and go. But I'll always quote stuff from then. <laughs> I made. I had no idea this. This about Gavin either. Um, we were at drinks the other night, and I made some joke about like, like someone changing their name and. Brought up Phoebe and friends saying like, "Oh, my name's Princess Consuela Banana Hammock," and <laughs> her husband that she had in the show is named uh, Crap Bag. And then uh, Gavin goes, "Season ten, episode four. <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck?" Dude? I don't know if that's right. I just I've I've seen a lot of episodes of Friends. It's definitely season ten. It's my go to sleep uh, show. Yeah, it's my. I just uh, need some fodder for the background. Show. I do that with Seinfeld. Yeah, I make Seinfeld quotes all the fucking time. Also Vine. It's like I make Vine references a lot, like Seinfeld and Vine. Yeah. Are the two things that I have this encyclopedic knowledge of. Yeah, you know? I'll, I'll do Seinfeld and Simpsons. Yeah. All the time. You know what Seinfeld quote I do all the time is? Which one? Um, it's when, <laughs> remember Mickey, uh, Kramer's friend? Yeah. He, he had to go to the hospital because he took 40 aspirin. Mm -hmm. And Seinfeld goes, Did he overdose? And Kramer goes, No, it's just too much. So I say that <laughs> it's just a, the weirdest line, but it's so funny to me. I say that all the time when someone like when there's just like there's too much or something. It's like I go, that's ah, too much. <laughs> my, you my, actually my, start to pick up on it. My favorite is Serenity Now. Yeah. Oh, always oh, the Serenity. What, I saw something recently where it was called the Serenity Now was the name of a ship. What did For, I say? Firefly. No, I think so. No, Serenity is the name of the ship on yeah. that. Maybe I'm mixing up my memories. Serenity Now just came up in something. Maybe someone can remind me. Something just recently featured Serenity Now. Anyway, yeah. I'll think, think of it in about two hours after the podcast ends. The prophecy is real. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you're cricket. I think you're commenting before the the the, the live stream hits. What? Yeah, I saw I saw you make a comment. I don't think we, the video had gone out yet. You're, you're living in the future. What video? Oh yeah. <laughs> She's in the chat. She's chatting. Oh, 
and she's listening live, and then everyone's right. Like no, I, a think, I think she's, I think she's like she's like thirty seconds ahead. What video went up? We put up a TikTok video. The, the no, fucking, just the the, this video. Oh. The, vi the video that we're on right I now. I thought we missed. We played a video, and she was talking about a video that we played. This is a video. Hey, speaking of videos, are we in UHD? We have a. Do you, do you want to talk about our new video game? Yes. Oh, I'd love to talk about it. Let's talk, talk about 2019 in general. Are we allowed to talk about that yet? Uh, yeah. We can, we can so. say a couple of things. Can okay, we talk about it? Yeah. Why not? I, Fuck it. I Let's talk about it. Okay. 2019, I am so excited about because everything everybody knows about Genlock, which is coming out in 19 days. 17. From, 17 days from yeah, the recording uh, of this no, podcast. 19 days. 19 days. My bad. Sorry. 17 when this comes out, the podcast comes out. Correct. So it's you were adjusting you're in your. Cal uh, your uh, I was thinking in the future. Adjustments on the fly. But um, there is, we've had something in development. For a while now, it is uh, probably one of the newest departments at Rooster Teeth still, but it's been around for a little bit of time now. It's Rooster Teeth Games, uh, and they were the group that developed uh, Ruby Grim Eclipse, which started from um, somebody who was a fan of Ruby's, did it, and then we helped take it and then develop it. That team developed and turned it into a very successful game. Uh, it's been around so for a while. Fun. It's done really well. Uh, and we went to them and we said, hey, we want you to follow up the success of Ruby Grim Clips with something of your own, something original, not based on anything that is a show at Rooster Teeth or anything else. And so they've been working on their own original game for about two years now, I think. Something right? Like it's been about mm -hmm. two years. Wow. And uh, it should be coming out in 2019. So, so super excited about it. Excited. Mm -hmm. It looks tough. We, I think yeah, uh, we got to see we're, we're allowed to say the name. We, we, oh, we can? We can say the name. So uh, it, the, hopefully it's the name it. of the, the name of the game is uh, Vicious Circle, and I think we have oh look we even have an app over third, <gasps> so it's coming out later this year. And do we have uh, any art? I'm oh, do we have up? that? Do we have the oh, oh, so fuck yeah. Yeah. concept yeah. art of uh, for yeah, some of the game? Yeah, we saw some footage, and it looked uh, I just couldn't wait to play it. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait characters. for achievement hunting to play it. We had a uh, yes, I, I can't I wait for you all to play it. I had played a, a, a build of it a long time ago, like maybe a year ago, uh, <laughs> you know, before. The art was settled, and the game's changed a lot. And we had a, a playthrough a couple of weeks ago. And how long did we play for? Like an hour, hour and a half. Yep. And the time flew. Like I was. Why I, did you get to play this game? I, I was don't. sad. Yeah. Why did you get to play? Because because I'm Gus, and I, I was <laughs> sad when we were done, and it was like that's it. You know, they have to get back. To, we were using you know the development machines. Like yeah. they have to get back to work on the game. They it was like I wanted to. Yeah. I, I I really legitimately wanted to keep playing the game. They showed us a, a little, I think it was like, almost like a trailer slash gameplay playthrough stuff mm -hmm. at our All Hands uh, in December. And I was just captivated by it. Like, it looked so much fun. The graphics, I know it's not like the version that they showed us, it wasn't complete. complete. Yeah. But it looked like something that I'd actually want to play. And I don't play a lot of video games. That meeting yeah. itself was crazy. There was a dick yeah. load of people there. Yeah. Oh, the All Hands uh, 2018 end of the year meeting? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty nuts. Got a lot of people. We sh yeah. did that live show the night before it, and then you guys had a rap party, and I, I was like, I gotta go home because in like twelve hours we have the end of the year meeting, and I had like forty minutes of presentations that I had to be prepared for to do on stage. Mm -hmm. And normally, at a company meeting, you know, historically, I've been like, oh, I'll just you know, wing it or whatever. Show up. But yeah. now it's like four hundred people. You know, yeah. four hundred twenty people. Yeah, but they all have the same attitudes. So no, I know, I know, but it's a, it. It, you're in a big group of people now. It, it looked like an OTX panel. You want to look like? Yeah, you want to inspire confidence, and people know. Yeah. Like it's weird. We don't see everyone who works here every day. There's well, like, like there's a lot of people who you know I don't see maybe once a month. Yeah. If that you know, Wait, if, uh, if this is the opportunity for them to learn, you know, everything that's going on, you want to make sure it it's, it looks good. And something happened that's well. never happened to me before. People who worked here were getting pictures with me because they work at the other place <laughs> and they'd never met me. Like, oh, you know. mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was like, man, this is crazy that we we have people working here who want a picture with me. Yeah. Is it? Well, I guess because like. Yeah, it's, it was crazy. People who are fans of Rooster Teeth have come to work at Rooster Teeth. Yeah. Like it, it happens all the time. Hello. Yeah, I guess I just. Although I still, it'd be <laughs> weird if I was like, it. hey, can I get a picture with you my first day? Well, you already had pictures with me. Yeah. So. Um, one more thing I want to say about the game before we're done. Last thing I want to say. It is uh, a multiplayer FPS. So, and it was built to be something that we think uh, people can play together and hopefully uh, enjoy together. I enjoy, right. Because let me tell you something. Uh, whenever we do the play test, we do it at in the games department. Yeah. Which is also where other people are working nearby from other departments, like Screw Attacks right there as well, uh, where they are. 
And I always have to go around to all the other desks and apologize after we do one of these play tests because I just like I'm shouting. At the top of my yeah, I think you fucker is what I yell more <laughs> than anything yeah. else. It's a lot of fun. It's 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 a ton of fun, and I can't wait until people can be able to play it. So later in 2019, 2019. Yep. I assume we'll have Fish updates circle. throughout the year. Updates throughout the year. They, they didn't go with my name. I, I pitched a different name for that game. Oh, don't 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 even, don't even put I'm, it out I'll, there. I'll, I'll, I'll wait till afterwards. After we're done. Do you think it's a better name than the one they picked? I like my name. Mine, they shot down really fast. I pitched Halo. I really (laughs) thought it was really good. I feel like your names get shot down a lot. Halo 6. (laughs) (laughs) uh, What's that? Like uh, Dun Jeff and Dragos never went through. (laughs) God, so that, that name is so bad. That Dun Jeff and Dragus is great. Did you have a here's very here's a half wits. Did you have a suggestion for always open when oh, we were? I don't adult? remember if I do or did or not. I have to go back and look at my notes. Usually when Jeff has a show and he's trying to come up with names like for Achievement Hunter, I'll just like throw stuff at him. Jeff had a great name for Achievement Hunter. Which yeah. are you there, Ghost? It's me, Jeff. That's yeah. <laughs> that's a great name. And mm-hmm. I remember I wanted to, one of the names I suggested to him for Heroes and Half Wits that he actually liked was. Orange is the new chaotic evil. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, there's so many, there's a lot of Dungeons and Dragons shows. Like, all the creative takes on D&D have kind of been taken. Yeah. Like, Critical Role, that's a great name. I imagine there's a lot of D&D shows on the internet. Yeah. Like, anytime you just try to do something with dice or rolling. Everyone thinks it's of the like, same it's adjectives all, it's or the all same words. Taken, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But yep. no one has used Dun Jeff and Dragons. <laughs> and hopefully nobody ever will. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it wasn't initially. I hadn't pitched Heroes and Halfwits. The name I had pitched was Halfwit Heroes. Oh, okay. And then it got changed to Heroes and Halfwits. Is that why Twits and Crits kind of followed the same something and something? I think it's just Dungeons and Dragons. I think Twits and Crits was before yeah, guess, Heroes and Halfwits. No, it? Heroes and Halfwits was no, first. No, I think Heroes and Halfwits was first. Oh, one of Fun, Funhouse did like they did a 360 video of D and D. Really early on, it was back when. Remember when they were doing the Funhouse cartoons with the like the Muppet yeah. digital Muppet style things? Um, yeah, I thought Heroes and Halfwits was first. I thought so too. Well, they did the they did the D and D. Well, Lawrence is here actually for some reason. Is he here? I don't know if it's okay that I say that. Lawrence is walking around here a summer. I think he just had some meetings here. Yeah, but he's in town. I'm so. seeing him. Anyway, why, didn't you, why didn't you invite him on? I didn't know he was here. Sidecar. I didn't know. How dare you? Text him. Don't we have people who are supposed to let me know when people are in town? I could have stuck my finger in his food. We could we could have had him here asking if people jacked off to Lawrence. Don't put the don't. <laughs> Can I vote in that one? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> but you have to do it verbally. All right. While, while we're talking about CES too, while we mentioned it, <laughs> while we're talking, about it, <laughs> I have to ver- jerk off mer- verbally. What does that mean? You have to admit if you've done it. Oh, you can't. I'm not doing anonymous. While we're talking about CES, <laughs> I've not jerked off to Lawrence. Sorry, Lawrence, Mr. Sontag. Uh, I got, I was uh I was looking at Xboxes because I had my I have a. I bought an Xbox One X when it came out, mm-hmm. and I just took my old Xbox One and I put it on the treadmill, and it's having problems. Mm. It's like it's having issues, Gus. So I thought maybe I'll just splurge and get another Xbox out there. So I want to see how much it was. Another Xbox. One X? Yeah, I was gonna get another One X. I'm probably just gonna get One S because those are like two hundred twenty bucks or something, and a One X like- is. Five hundred. Is it five hundred? Yeah. It's five hundred bucks. I think they they had some holiday deals that probably just expired. I'll blow your mind here, buddy. Blow your mind. I went to go look at it, and I looked on Amazon because I buy everything from Amazon. When you go to buy an Xbox One X, you now have to customize it. You can get one with a one terabyte drive. That's the base one. A two terabyte drive for I think like seventy bucks more. Mm-hmm. But then they have a version that's got a one terabyte SSD. Oh, it's like it's from Microsoft. Internal. I didn't. Yeah. Or it's it comes one, with it. No, it's a one terabyte SSD internal Xbox One X, and it's but it's like eight hundred bucks. I don't see the point. Was it going to load games a bit faster? I'm just curious. If, I didn't know they did this, and I'm curious if anybody has an Xbox One X SSD. So uh, I'm looking at it here. <laughs> <laughs> they they, they list cats. <laughs> one terabyte HDD basic specs, two terabyte HDD maximum space. No one should get that. One terabyte SSD max space and speed. That's obviously not maximum space. The two terabytes is maximum space. It's the maximum SDD space, I guess. Uh, SSD space. They have two different items that here that say maximum space. That's WCF, true. LMAO. Just it makes it sound like you're getting both. Right. And you're not. You're you not. can get like an eight terabyte drive for not that much. You might as well just get one of those. But an eight terabyte drive is an SSD. The SSD would make it much faster. No, I'm saying that the two terabyte hard drive option is oh. a ripoff. Yeah, but no, some people just don't want an external one. Like I, I would rather have... And maybe pay a little bit more for two terabytes internal versus two terabytes 
external. Eight terabytes yeah, does throw off the. If you're sticking that in like a entertainment center, like under your TV, you're never gonna fucking see. Most it. people don't care. Most people don't. Yeah, care. who cares? It yeah. all depends on how you have it set up. Yeah, mine's in my in a cabinet. I just have the wire coming out right. into the back of it. Same here. I wouldn't give a fuck. Mine's I, in I a would hole never see it in my wall. <laughs> <laughs> or just get an TV. arm for the hole behind the TV. That's what I did. Okay. I had to put to build put Isn't two like timbers. Isn't that in there, what we said? Put an arm in it. No, I had to put timbers in it first oh. to put something to attach the arm to. I thought timber was plural. Tim, what's what's a, what's one timber? A timbus? <laughs> I think one timber is a plank. <laughs> what? A plank? Yeah. Isn't it the sound you? Isn't it what you say when something's falling over? Timber, right? Yeah. I used to do that to Gavin. That was like a thing I tried to start. <laughs> I would do a thing where I'd walk up, he'd be sitting in a chair, and I would just go ridge, and I go timber, and I just fall on him. I forgot about that. <laughs> Didn't he, wait? Was there a podcast you jumped on him? What? Was there a podcast you jumped on him? I tried to jump on him, but as I as I <laughs> jumped over the table here, I lost purchase with my foot and fell. <laughs> lost purchase? Yeah, it was slipped. <laughs> oh man! By the way. You hit the ground fa harder and faster than most normal oh. gravity affected objects. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how it works. In chat, Jimmy64 let us know that one timber is equal to five Tims. <laughs> is that what that, Yeah, is? thanks, uh, Jimmy64. Appreciate that. How many cups of Tim Hortons are equal to five Tims? That's, uh, that's how many Tim bits. How many Tims in the to? Tam? How many? Seven. <laughs> one, it's, it's one Tim per Tam. What was the thing from the ad read? Like Tig Bore or something? Tig Tone. <laughs> <laughs> you can't forget it, Gavin. You can't possibly forget I've, it. I've already forgot. How many ticks per tone? It's one. <sighs> Xbox XS says, 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 says that. Anyway, the reason I like having an eight tub is I just move it around to all my Xboxes. However, what the fuck are you using eight terabytes for on an Xbox? It's like never delete the stuff you download. Yeah, yeah you just but have all the games. I don't know. I I, I feel like I, every now and then I have to manage it. Like oh, I haven't played that and, game in a while. I and now and then I used to do that. I find so often that I would almost immediately need to play a game I've just deleted. Right, and I was like. Oh, it's happened again and like five times. I was like, I should really just buy a bigger hotel. Oh, you were just doing it for work basically. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, and at home. Yeah. Like Dan would come over and be like, oh, we never finished Gears of War 4. I'd be like, I just deleted that last week. Let me download it. Just stuff like that would happen. Yeah, I get it. Uh, like, has anyone ever done like a study? Yes. To see what is the environmental impact energy wise of data transfer? Like, if I'm trans, if I spend all day, every single day for a month, and I download 100 gigabytes a day for one month. I'm using more energy in that month than I normally would. Like, there's there's something yeah, being used, your, right? Your disk is riding instead something. of... But your disk is spinning anyway. I mainly think if it's just a, about the data transfer. Is, just, is it just energy neutral data transfer? Or so minuscule it doesn't matter? Well, I mean, it needs processing power to move the data, doesn't it? Right. And we, it needs, man, we hard drives, could, need we could do this. It, it would be super tedious, and it'd probably be a tiny amount. Hard drives aren't always spinning, though. Well, or if you have, well, the other thing I was going to say is if you have an SSD, it's even more negligible. And hard drives well, usually like, are spinning unless you... Don't they spin up when you need to access them? I always disable that, though. <laughs> okay, so yours are always spinning, I, 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 and I assume always, always being spinning. cooled yeah. as well. Well, like, is cloud computing, and we're now moving to a culture where most people have their stuff in the cloud. It's not actually a real cloud. I, I just learned that at CES. <laughs> It's, it's cloud is plural. <laughs> oh, what's this? Eric just sent me something. But the cloud the is carbon price of cloud computing. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So is but here's what I'm wondering though. Before you you read and get the answer, there is is cloud computing more efficient if everybody puts their stuff in the cloud than wasting the space and the resources to store it all locally? Is it kind of like if everyone has their own car versus it's more efficient? to have mass transit, even though the vehicles themselves put out more pollution. Like a bus puts out more pollution than a car. I don't think anyone uses only the cloud, though. Do they? But they use their local less. Cloud is like a supplement to well, the uh, stuff uh, they some have of the, Some of the newer versions yeah. of Mac OS, your desktop and your documents and, and everything are yeah. on iCloud automatically. Oh, Aren't they surprised. also locally on at least one of your machines? It's mirrored, but it's constantly synchronizing them. Right. Dude, the guys that I worked for in the telecom industry, when we were doing internet <clears> stuff and everything, talking about computers, they go, Everything's just gonna go back to terminals eventually. I was like, eh, you're full of shit. People, people are gonna have terminals and just they'll have their own data. People put stuff on their computers, but I could totally see that. Like, there's like those uh, consoles where you're just streaming. Mm -hmm. You know, like they've had a couple different versions of those. One of those will take off where you don't actually own any games. You just stream games over the internet to play casually. Maybe, maybe some games, but anything competitive won't. The the latency is an issue. 
I well, mean, we'll see. People when, have what, latency what, issues between their what, own PC once, and their own monitor. Once, uh, this is going to sound really fucking pie in the sky. Once you start to see widespread uh, adoption of 5G networks and edge computing, it'll really eliminate a lot hey, of Hey, Lindblad, yeah. didn't you uh, say that you got 5G? What, what? The, what was that? Yeah, come on here. Come on. Uh, we, can you stop directing? <laughs> so possible? real fast before he comes out here, IT related services account for 2% of all global carbon emissions. That's roughly the same as the aviation sector. What? Yeah. Whoa. There you go. Wow, that kind of makes me feel bad. See, now I feel less bad about keeping a local copy of my games and not downloading and deleting them and downloading this and deleting is, them. You uh, feel bad about it until you learn like 60 or 70% of it is like four ships. This was as of April <laughs> going across 2014. The Atlantic. What? That was as of April 2014. April 2014. Wow. Yeah, so it's I'm sure it's higher. Almost five years ago. What do you have? So he got 5G on his phone. There's no 5G in Austin. So uh, Android just put out uh, update 8.0, and it's close. It's 5G E. So you're a liar. Whatever that E is. That no, on my phone it does say like cat 5G, 5G, where it's and not cat six. It's five megabytes faster. It's it's really not much. You can't and you've got to be in the city, um, even out in uh, outer Austin. It shows up. Signal's really poor. AT&T okay. decides 4G is now 5G, starts issuing icon changing software updates. AT&T starts swapping out 4G <laughs> stands for icons with 5G E. They just yep. changed the name of what we already had. They did this when just 4G was transitioning to LTE better? also. They just changed it so it said LTE. Wow. So we don't buy AT&T, by the way. I don't know if we have to say that. Yeah, we don't know what we have. <laughs> Uh, can we point. just change the name of our company? Since, since, since we work at AT&T, can we just change the name of our company? We're Warner Brothers now. <laughs> Welcome to the 5G Rooster Teeth Podcast. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, even uh, Peter pointed out a few other people. So like it is 5G and I know they're going to pull this up in a moment, but it is 5G E on the top of my phone. Okay. But even if that's just the fancy way of saying 4G LTE, so the other one that actually has 5G and not the speeds. That's but you the were speeds, excited about it when you got it. I thought it was actual 5G. I didn't think uh, a year and a half old phone was going to get it. I thought you'd have to buy years you're, up. You're supposed to have new, wasn't you, ready. You need yeah. new radios for proper like Compared 5G. to the internet in the town I lived in in England, though, that is lovely. That well, is very fast. Enjoy those extra like five down. megabytes. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy <laughs> your all new those name. Extra five megabytes per second. No, it's, <laughs> like it's all good. It's all Pushing fun. an update that just gives you a new name. I love it. Maybe it was an accidental update that was a <laughs> That was right. They they saw Instagram all the Have tracks in the guy. Have you guys seen my iPhone 11, by the way? <laughs> it's right. 5G. Yeah, I like that we got the circle on it. So Just in case it. you missed it. What do you think the E stands for? I want to like, say, eh. Michael, you dodged the bullet here because your phone is charged at 78%. If you ever take a screenshot of your phone and put it online, it's one of those things where, like, when charge your he phone. was saying, I know, yeah. charge your phone, charge your phone if you're under like 30%. These people act as if their phone is never below 20%. Like, Blaine was talking earlier about the people who look at feet. It, I don't know why this creeps me out so bad, but it really creeps me out when I post a photo online and people comment on other shit in the photo. Like, they're just staring at this photo. I have, I have to look at everything in a photo before I put it and up. And they're like, oh, what's that? What, yeah. What's that on your uh, nightstand? You know, is that a cup of water? It's like, yeah, it's like, what the fuck's wrong <laughs> with you? Remember one time you posted a photo and you had like Flonase on your desk. Remember oh. that? And people were like, what's that? It's, got, it's like that green container. Yeah. You're like, guys, it's allergy medicine. It's like, yeah. take it easy, dude. Or, yeah, no. we're all humans who have to use things. Something I hate too, and I know people are going to do it regardless of what anyone says forever. Whenever you take a photo and there's someone in the background who's making a face, like a, some stranger yep. just in the background who's just like talking and so they're going like, and everyone will fucking crop in on that person and reply to your tweet or whatever it is yep. with that picture. It's like, <laughs> okay, cool. I'm in this, I'm in this picture. I'm putting this picture because I want you to see whatever I'm talking about. And me, 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 me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you guys see the? Uh, I don't know if you guys can pull a photo of this, but um, I didn't watch the Golden Globes because I don't like watching award shows. They're just too. Is fucking it because you didn't win any? Exactly, Gavin. <laughs> it got it snubbed was, again, it dude. Was good. I thought it was a good show. But you do have a Tesla. What's that? What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> Steve Merchant had a really funny tweet. He was like, remember, it's not the awards, it's the work and the effort you put in. Sincerely, Steve Merchant, two-time Golden Globe. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But, uh, did he win two Golden Globes or was it like 5G? Or did he win one? <laughs> he had one and they just changed it to two. And it's two. Um, he won a People's Choice Award, he just calls it a Golden Globe. Yeah. But on the on the red carpet, I, is it a red carpet for Golden Globes? Yes. Because sometimes you do like blue carpet. It's a Golden Road. Black. Is it a Golden no, Carpet? No, it's a red okay. carpet, dude. There was like a, there was like a, uh, uh, it must have been sponsored. Like there was a girl oh, with the Fiji, Fiji water. water. 
And she kept like creeping into people's red carpet photos. And he was like, <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> That's kind of weird, right? What is she doing? She, she's in a ton of photos. <laughs> she. <laughs> That's odd. Can, I want to go to like through the Getty Images archive and just like look at all their Golden Globe photos to see if there's any without her. And, and she's staring directly at the camera. Like she's aware she's doing that. I know. Who is she? Is she an, like an actress or something? She's a ghost. But I'm sure they. I'm sure they paid her to stand there with Fiji water. No, I know. But like, what's her background? Like, is she just someone? She probably wants she moved to LA to be an actress or a model ago. or something. She died seven years ago. She drowned in Fiji <laughs> and, water. And now everybody knows her face. Yeah. yeah. That is a great exposure. Yeah, but Babe. she didn't show her feet. So, <laughs> what not <a> yet. <laughs> Do you think she washed them with that Fiji water later? It's Fiji. She pulls Fiji in the foot spa. <laughs> oh, thanks, Barb. Thanks. Oh, man. My I one pun a year. I got, <laughs> I got out of the way the second Yee. week in. That, that's strange, though, to have a sponsored product well, on the red carpet. I mean, is that any different than having, like, in the step and repeat, having uh, logos there? Yes, that's entirely different. No, it's exactly the same thing. No. Well, no, you can't drink the step and repeat. That's a good point, Gavin. I didn't think about that. Well, if Thank it's you. sponsored by Cadillac, if somebody drove a Cadillac right down the middle of the red carpet, that'd be fucking weird. I feel weird. like you've seen that. You, uh, they probably put cars on the red carpet as well. Have you I'm seen the videos man. of the cars rolling tires on the carpet and everyone goes, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that'd be what that'd be like. Well, they like do it, spin out and like pull it's the carpet out? Tugs the, the carpet The car out, accelerates, so. yeah, and moves the carpet. And everyone just like. <laughs> it reminds me of that video of that, uh, that Asian guy who has. Uh, like a cloth over him with two teacups uh, and something over his crotch, and then he pulls the sheet in. He did a bunch of again. them. Really? Yeah, he there's a bunch. Have you seen the one he did with the ball, the pendulum? Is that the same guy? Yeah, I think it's the same guy. Yeah, yeah. And he also has with a, with a fan. Like he turns the fan on and it like accelerates and like pulls he did the, one with the, 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 the pendulum yeah. one's fucking great. Yeah, I yeah. gotta look that up. Yeah, yeah, pendulum? Pendulum. Pendulum. Oh, okay. Pen one. I think I said pendulum. <laughs> I think it's what I said. Pendulum. I read a. How do you say pendulum? Well, listen. Pendulum? Pendulum. Penge. 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 Pendulum. Get your pen P out. P-E-N-J? Pendulum. No, I think it's still spelled pendulum. Pend pendulum. pendulum. You're not actually asking me how to spell pendulum. Pen no, no like the pronunciation. Pendulum. Yeah. Like pendulum? A, there's a J in it with a pronunciation for me. There's no J in the word. I just said pendulum. Pen pendulum. A pendulum, right? Pendulum. If you say a word enough times, it makes no fucking sense. Do you say endure? Endure. 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 Or endure. In endure. Yeah. endure. Eric's. Last name. I tried to spell his last name the other day. He's got a hard last name to spell. Now, now I know how to spell it. What is it? Badur. Badur. But it's pronounced Badur. <laughs> Badur. It's pronounced Badur, so I spelled it B-A-D-O-U-R. Everyone does. That is incorrect. I have a rooster teeth badge here that hasn't misspelled. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome That's to right. the club of people at Rooster Teeth who worked here for a long time who still get their last names misspelled. But <laughs> his badge? Me, Jack Patillo. It's 5G. So it's good. <laughs> Gets, gets got great download speeds. <laughs> Only in the city. That's it. Maybe they're going to push a software update to fix the spelling and change the letter on it. Right. I'll do my best. Yeah, it'll uh, it'll go fast. Um, Thanks for watching HBO, guys. I'm Brad Pitt. <laughs> they showed during the Golden Globes last night, there was a uh, a commercial for HBO and all the shows they have coming out in 2019. And they had some footage for their Watchmen TV show uh, in that in that commercial. I yes. Didn't, I didn't realize they were that far along with they it. They also spoiled a big thing in Game of Thrones, from, in my opinion. I get that they are selecting what's the previews to show, but I was a little, maybe not though. Maybe the creators of the show didn't have say over what the marketing department showed, but they showed a little clip from Game of Thrones in that montage that I didn't like. You really? know what I'm talking about? No. I Two characters talking to each other? Oh, yeah, yeah. I like yeah. that. Didn't like that a bit. I haven't seen it. Now I need to see it. One thing I don't like in Game of Thrones, one thing that's a big deal to me in Game of Thrones, is when two characters get in the same place, it's... That doesn't happen that often in Game of Thrones. So like, far away. Yeah, there's, you've been following these two characters for years, and eventually they're going to meet, and then they show it in a preview. You're like, that's yeah, a big was, fucking moment, yeah, dude. Yeah, two characters who've never met. Right. Were like it's having a, a conversation. It's a big deal, those yeah. two looking at each other in the eye. God, you know? I'm trying to think who's, that, who's not met yet. Well, the person who's been the furthest away is Daenerys for a long time. Yeah. And she's been gone since the beginning of the show. <laughs> She started off in one of the yeah, Eastern lands. She's only back recently. Only just recently yeah. back. So her meeting people, she's kind of like this legendary character to them. Did she they meet, always heard about this Targaryen kid. Did she meet Ned Stark? No. Well, maybe she did. Maybe I don't know. she will. Maybe she will. <laughs> we'll uh, see. Uh, do you have any predictions for Game of Thrones? Yeah, I got a lot of predictions. You do? Who is it? Like eight episodes? Six, ep six episodes. I think there's six, but they're all like movie length episodes. Or they're like two hour episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. it's gonna be so good. Do you think Game of Thrones will do a Fortnite crossover thing? 
What do you mean, like, uh, like there'll be like, like the White Thanos Walker dance in, in Fortnite? Like, well, the, Thanos was in Fortnite. I don't think they'll do it. I don't think in Game of Thrones they'll do <laughs> the floss or anything like that. But will Fortnite have like, like, like the, a, the wool, like a wall or something like that? Hmm. Hmm. No. <laughs> winter is coming. Didn't didn't Trump put out a Winter is coming thing? Like the wall the is wall, coming. The wall is coming. Yeah, it's a great analogy. Did he not see half the wall fall down <laughs> at the last episode? I think well, the, the defense people use is in the the wall did work for thousands of years. Well, the other defense too is the wall falling down was a bad thing because it led in a bunch of people that they didn't want <laughs> to be there. So maybe it's not the best analogy. The other thing is there's dragons and undead and yeah, <laughs> who knows? Yeah, I mean he's seventy. You got to give him that. It's also actual evil people trying to come through the wall. Yeah. Exactly. The uh, the shutdown, though, that's going on right now, we're in day what now of the shutdown? Uh, 17? 17? 17? Yeah. This is something that was a new concept to me, because I don't know if I've ever... I don't know if... D does, like, the UK government ever shut down? I'd we're never about to find out. That. March 29th. <laughs> well, there you go. But it's weird that the... It's just like, oh, government employees are just not getting paid now. Right. And the, but still have to work for some reason. I read two articles. Well, not everybody. Like, the national parks are falling apart. And they fell apart really fucking quickly um, because people just kept going to the national parks, even though there's no one working at the national parks. So they're having the problems you would expect, like with trespassing into some areas that are normally guarded. Uh, trash isn't being trash taken out. Trash is just the national parks are being overrun with trash. Wasn't there a suggestion that people who, <laughs> like, didn't some government officials say that people who visit the national parks should take a bag of trash out with them? Yeah. They, you know, honestly, if you're visiting national parks, you're probably someone who understands conservationism. Maybe don't fucking throw your trash into a dumpster where clearly no one is maintaining that dumpster. Right. Also, the sewage in all these places is now like completely destroyed. Mm. So it's just like they the the and I think that story uh, that I read the person was was talking about it said it's, it's going to take millions upon millions of dollars to rectify this that they know they're not going to get and it's going to take years to undo the damage that just 16 days have done and, in the national parks. Uh aren't like some TSA agents yep. going to like quit or walk off the job? I think Seattle, it, 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 they, in Seattle they've been, they've been calling, calling sick. Yeah. yeah. And I think like in New York there was a scare today that they're just going to stop working. Well, well they just ground all flights. Surely they can't let planes take off without TSA anymore. Probably yeah. I mean or they have to find private security to supplement. But who's going to pay for that? That's a lot of training really fast. Yeah. To do that. There are some airports, I believe, in the U.S. who do not, who've opted out of using TSA and who instead use private security contractors. I will not. I didn't know you could. I thought it was government. No, I think, they're, you, I think airports have the option not to. I will not often say very positive things about the TSA because I don't really like them. They're not really a government agency. You know, they're just a contract, right, that they have to mm -hmm. do that. But they're paid by the government? Yeah, but they're paid by the government well, they're part contract. of Homeland yeah. Security, aren't they? I don't believe they're part of the department. They may be a contract from the department, but they're not government employees, TSA employees. Right. And for those of you who don't live in the U.S., the TSA are the people who run the security checkpoints at airports. 22 U.S. airports use private firms for security screening. I wonder why. I will say, though, though, those people going to work every day and not getting a fucking paycheck because of the shutdown. And, and that job's hard enough when you're dealing with travelers where everyone is just irrationally angry already. Yeah. And it's like they're doing they're going every fucking day working a full shift and no paycheck, dude. And mm -hmm. then it's not even guaranteed to be paid when the government opens. Yeah. It's like they're fucking they're heroes, dude. They're keeping the country running right now. Yeah. Because if they don't show up for work, the planes aren't taking off. Right. And then it's a domino effect where if the planes aren't taking off at one airport, then other connecting flights aren't getting sure. to the next one or the other flights can't come in and land. It's a yeah. huge cascading problem. Yeah. I mean, even if like let's say the TSA goes down. In like say say Seattle, they all walk off their job. Which why wouldn't they? Honestly, if they're not getting paid. Yeah, how I mean, long? How how long? If you're watching, how long would you continue going to your job? It's like we're not going to pay. We haven't paid you for 17 days. days, and we don't know if you're going to get paid for that. That's a not. missing paycheck. I yeah. feel like if I knew it was guaranteed that it would be back paid, yeah, I would keep it, doing it. But it if you paid? could, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about like yeah, if if I knew for sure it wouldn't be, I don't think I would go in. What would be the point? When they say they're calling in sick, it's like, are they calling in sick? Or are they just not going to a job that they're not being paid for? I think the fear is that if they, if they're like, oh, I'm not getting this money, so I'm not going to go and work, they then won't have a job when they come back. Right. Which is a you obviously want a job. That's is there a guarantee of back pay, or is that something that's still kind of up I don't in know. The air? I, I really don't know. Woof. Gordon Gavitt says it's a, it's a question mark at this yeah. point. I think for different departments, it's not guaranteed. What I think wasn't also NASA kind of shut down like when the when that satellite <clears throat> did a flyby uh, right after the new year It was like a skeleton crew of people working there just to maintain communication And there's people I think who have to volunteer to help make sure the ISS Yeah stays up and stays alive Although I feel like a lot of NASA jobs would be more passion-based I would yeah, less I would about agree with what Gavin the paycheck 
but <laughs> still, I mean, still I, I can see like no yeah, pay. Yeah. I know, yeah, but it's still like, oh, I think it's gonna, you know, land on a planet soon, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, it's like, we, oh, we worked for you know, fifteen years <laughs> to get this thing to go by the planet, but I got the day off. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I just can't imagine that taking place. What is the longest U.S. government shutdown? This I is think it. This is it. Yeah, this is it. What was really for this? I think it was like eleven or twelve days. And, and Trump already said that he'd be happy to keep it shut down for months, months or years. years. Tell you what NASA needs to do. The NASA needs to take this time off. They need to all get together and they all need to work on their fucking high fives. Because I'm always embarrassed by those celebrations whenever they fucking find water for the billionth time on Mars or whatever they're doing. And they all like cheer and then they do that. There's always the bad high five. Somewhere <laughs> in that, there's always the bad high five. What and made I just, you think of this? Just because it's like, you know, if there are things flying by the planet, they oh. want to be there for their bad high five on the day. They're not going to skip that. Should day. we offer to go there and shoot a bunch of successful high five videos that they can just play into <laughs> for training purposes? Phones? No, just for play recruiting. into launches. Just and tell stuff. Them, look at the elbow. It's weird that that works. Yeah. Uh, the the longest actually was twenty one days. Oh, okay. December fifth, nineteen ninety five to January sixth, nineteen ninety six. Clinton. Uh, yep. The second longest was eighteen days. Uh, and seventy eight. And like we're gonna bust. We're gonna bust that one though. We're get we'll get second on this mm -hmm. one for sure, right? Yeah. yeah. And, then, and then, then the third done. was sixteen days, but I think we're there already right now. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you said seventeen today, right? I think so. Yeah. What? Dude, stock market's fucking crazy too. Yeah, stock market's it was crazy. Way down, way up. I haven't even looked. Well, today. it was way down, and they went up on Friday. It went up one day. Yeah, yeah. had a, had a really good day. A really yeah. The dollar's having trouble crazy. today. It's up. It's up today. Okay, dollar was having trouble today, right? All right, we're looking at the computers know. now. <laughs> I'm I'm looking it up. Did you see that video that uh, Snoop Dogg posted about the government shutdown and Trump? No. Um, we can't play it on the podcast because there's some language used that would be inappropriate for the the show like bugger Yeah, sure um, You know Snoop Dogg's famous catchphrase <laughs> you bugger <laughs> um, But basically it was Snoop Dogg uh, He put a video on his Instagrams saying that if you're affected by this government shutdown, and you're not getting paid Like don't vote for Trump in the next election said uh, a lot more angrily than that, but yeah. You know, it's a it's a point. But the uh, congressperson, she said, uh, "We're going to impeach the motherfucker." And then Samuel Jackson came out today and defended and like basically certified her use of the word motherfucker. I did not hear yeah. any of this as the authority for motherfucker. He has saying, the authority. Yeah, though. just for saying motherfucker. He's like, I endorse this. Basically, he's like, this is good use of motherfucker. Yeah, that's that's it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm looking. The market was slightly up today. And this this whole trade thing, I think that's the that's the other question mark is like, are there gonna is, is this trade war with China gonna continue? Are these tariffs gonna actually take effect, or are we gonna see a deal made? Because we're running, we're starting to run out of time with this ninety day reprieve. No boy, I don't know. It's it's funny. Like I think most people, I I, I, don't, I wouldn't even know what percentage of people invest in the stock market directly. Like what percentage of people take money and have an account where they trade stocks. But I would think that a lot of people who work have retirement plans or pay into retirement plans, which do pay into the stock market. Mm -hmm. So like, even though they don't directly invest themselves, they have money mutual tied up in that, like that. Yeah, right? Sure. There's a mutual fund or something like it's something that the individual doesn't think about. But there is a lot of money that they're waiting for when they retire and that they hope the market continues to go up so that they have something. Yep. Scary. Yeah. And as a dollar starts to fall, it's going to hurt with trade war stuff, too, as well. I mean, it's kind of weird the way Falling currency works because it's, you know, <clears throat> when you're here in the U.S. and you're just buying things in dollars, it doesn't really matter mm -hmm. that much, you know. But when you travel overseas or you're taking goods in for overseas, and it really starts to make a big fucking difference in the, the price that you're paying for stuff. Well, you, you start, know? I mean, yeah, you don't see it directly, but indirectly when yeah, kind prices of like go market. up, like imports and stuff <laughs> like that, the <laughs> stock market, yeah. All right, while we're on, the, while we're on the, the political, we pissed everybody off already since we're talking about politics stuff. Funny version of politics is you see John McAfee <laughs> showed up again. God, and all this stuff. Yeah, John McAfee. You know John McAfee. He made McAfee antivirus years and years ago. I don't know. Then sold it, but they kept his name on it. But now and he's then he murdered his neighbor in Belize. <laughs> well, allegedly, allegedly, <laughs> pretty strongly, allegedly. <laughs> Why is he not in jail? Because he's in Belize. Because he's in Belize. He's got a lot of money. He's oh in Belize. Why does he murder him? They uninstall McAfee. <laughs> no, no, he hates no. McAfee. He hates oh. McAfee, and he puts out videos telling you to uninstall it. Oh, I don't do like it. it either. Yeah. He's well, mad they use his name on it. 
<laughs> but he's, well, he's like he's and, and, eccentric to say the least. He came out. What he said: taxes are illegal, illegal. <laughs> and that he has not filed his taxes in eight years. You're right. So he's bragging about not paying. But taxes. he's in Belize. <laughs> Oh wait! Didn't he leave Belize? Because I don't know. They were looking for him. Yeah, they were looking because of the murder him. thing. But as the U.S. as the, as the American, of the murder thing. <laughs> He's Can American, you right? saying that about you? Hey, yes. how that murder thing go? For how you how that will play weekend? out? Uh, we should we should buy uh, the website. Where is John McAfee dot com? <laughs> Just where in the world is John McAfee? Yeah. <laughs> but it, even if he is an American living in Belize, he I assume he still makes money off that in some way. You better believe it. So he yeah. still has to pay U.S. Right. tax on it. I mean, think he still at least has to file. I love lunatics. Well, I, I mean, love him. He's got an American passport. He's paying tax on any income. Don't you? I love. I love high profile lunatics. I love him. Like Elon Musk. That guy's a fucking lunatic. That guy like, is a just, lunatic. He's just drilling tunnels under there, L.A. And no, it's like there's I mean, no permit to do that. Calling people, <laughs> calling people pedophiles, and then saying that it's protected <laughs> yeah. First Amendment speech. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Even though. He followed up that comment by saying, well, if the guy's not a pedophile, he would have sued me by now. Right. It's like, come on, dude. This is your own fucking fault. You got to own up to it. And then he got sued by him, right? Right. Oh, did he? Yeah. Who owns under LA? Yeah, right. Did, he must have permission to drill under Batman. So I know like in Texas, when you buy <laughs> property, it's a big deal of whether or not you get the mineral rights underneath. And your you property. almost never do. Depending on what you're buying. Sure. Right. Like if you're buying a normal house yeah. in a suburban Neighborhood yeah. plot, you don't get those mineral rights. No. So if like they find gold or they oil, can, they can put or oil in Texas, right? They yeah. can put an oil well in your fucking backyard. There's nothing you can do about or it, or you can't exploit it at least. Yeah, you know they, they might can, they might pay you a little bit to use the land because they have to put the shit on top of the land, right? But you're not you're not making money off the oil <laughs> they're pumping out. It'd be well annoying to have to live around an oil rig. Yeah, <laughs> oil stinks, dude. Just rent it out as an Airbnb. <laughs> Just put very strategic <laughs> photos, put like a potted plant to cover the fucking oil well. <laughs> You ever you ever been near a like a raw oh. oil field? Oh yeah, it stinks. What does it stink of? Kind of like sulfur, but not quite. So it's, it's like I being think it's sulfur, yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's like a sulfur-ish smell. So it's like going to Iceland. I mean, the Earth only has like so many bad smells. Is that what right? Iceland? It's a, the Earth. The Earth's bo is sulfur. It's either basically. methane or sulfur. <laughs> Take your pick. Yeah. Really? Should we that, recap for the people who can't hear? I, I did smell that. That's funny. The Austin Fire Department told people not to report a gas smell because I guess there was a smell drifting in from some oil field outside the city. Well, usually they have the government to reduce the smell, but oh. because of the shutdown, well, the smell Yeah, normally the chemtrails come over and you don't notice it, but they're they're not running as many chemtrails because the government shut down. What if actually did have a gas leak and they're like, oh, I guess I know. It. <laughs> Fucking dead. Yeah. Hopefully, shit. hopefully you got the, the the carbon monoxide detector. I have. Do you have a carbon monoxide I detector? Do. I do too. It's like uh, right over my fireplace. Just in I, case. I can smell it, <laughs> and I have one in my kids' rooms too. I got uh, that nest. Get that nest. I do. I have that. The nest protect. Yeah. Oh, they do carbon monoxide. Yeah. Yeah, it does as well. It, what it, don't they do? When it comes on, it goes. There is smoke in the kitchen because I put mine in my kitchen. Yeah. It goes. The alarm will sound. The alarm is loud. <laughs> and then, then you're like, oh shit, you're like, fading like crazy. Why I, isn't that in the th in the thermostat? In the thermostat. Can't they just add all those I think because it, the, have to be up it has to be higher. It has to be like where the smoke would actually collect. Right. Mm. Uh, There's right. certain places where it's this carbon it can monoxide be rice? Be. I believe so. Otherwise, they would have you put it on the ground. Yeah. All my carbon monoxide alarms are up high, but that's a good question. I never, I never saw it. They would explicitly say put you put it lower. Yeah, in the installation manual for that protect, they tell you where to put it, and if your root, if your ceiling has an angle, they tell you like how far from the top to put it. Like right. there's there's very specific instructions on where it's supposed to go. I would love it if phones had carbon monoxide detectors. You know, you lower. stick it by your ass when you fart. I mean, <laughs> Do you, you guys? Fart the alarm monoxide? is loud. <laughs> you guys, I know you don't read Twitter, my Twitter, when I tweet at you because you don't read because you didn't re respond to the thing that I did. But d sorry, um, Instagram, I, I don't know if you guys saw this, but M M Mush has this uh, has this uh, uh, little procedure, a little uh, routine that he's got uh, where he falls asleep in front of the fire now every it's, single night. It's the cutest fucking And thing. he's just like so racked out. Like he's like stretches out as far as he can and just sleeps in front of the fire. And I'm like, you lucky little prick. <laughs> You're missing <laughs> a, a good trick, life. Right? You know those fireplace videos, the 4K fireplace videos? <gasps> you should do one with just Mush lying in front of it. Please. That'll be the most viewed one ever. That'd be a good one. That'd be a good one. You know what I gotta take a video of? He does the ninja cat thing when you go around the corner. Oh, really? He does that. 
Uh, the the picture you posted when you were in the shower and he was peeking through the door yeah. was the cutest thing. He's just well. like, Pretty he cute. wants to be nearby, but he's scared. But he's scared and he wants to be close <laughs> to you. <laughs> I, I just remembered I got to read one more thing here. Oh. Uh, I'm wondering when this episode of the Received Podcast it's is also brought to you by the, the Rooster, Rooster Teeth Store. store. We've got all sorts of new awesome products for you to check out. Get comfy with some Ruby sleepwear or stay warm with all the new fleece sweaters. You can put a mush. Do we have anything for mush? We can put a mush in a fleece sweater. Let's do there it. it is. Uh, we've got these awesome woven shirts here that you see I'm wearing there this one is. back there featuring Achievement Hunter and Rooster Teeth. Uh, Rooster Teeth Store has just the right thing for you or the Rooster Teeth fan in your life. You can find the perfect Rooster Teeth merch made just for you at store.roosterteeth.com. That's store.roosterteeth.com. Take tone. All right. Hey, we have another video, too, because did you guys see Bird Box? Yes. You saw Bird Box? Did you see yeah. Bird Box? Okay. So the Bird Box, if you haven't seen it, it's not the Bird Box. It's just Bird the, Box. The Bird, <laughs> the bird Box. It's uh. It's got Robin Williams. It's uh, the Sandra Bullock Netflix movie that came out. Very controversial. Like Some people really love it. Some people are like, why I did think, this get so much hype? I think more people are just pissed off that it's so popular. Is that what it is? is that, that's what it seems like. I don't know. Like, there were just some things I did that didn't make sense it's for me a polar, in watching it. I think the movie was about 30 minutes too long. Okay. I, I was that's I was my one. mostly fine with it, but there was just some things I was like, I don't understand. It seemed like the movie sometimes contradicted itself, yeah. and there were some decisions made. I was like, why? Uh, yeah. Uh, so the issue that I've got with Bird Box is pretty much, and I'm the only person who has any issues with the movie Get Out. Apparently, everybody loves Get Out. My issue with Bird Box is the exact same, though, which is I started the movie off and I watched it. And yes, it was interesting, but it went exactly where I thought it was going to go the entire time. Yeah. And it was just like even with Bird Box, it's told like in a nonlinear narrative, like flashbacks and flash forwards. And it's like when they start the movie, they're going to do this thing. And they just they, that's what they do. They do the thing. Yeah. And they, that the whole movie, it's like and yeah, there's the tale of what went wrong as, as they go along. But I was just surprised by it. But I was going to say. Uh, the premise of Bird Box is there's some kind of entity in the world that when people see it, it either – and there's a lot of speculation as to what it is because anyone who sees it dies because they kill themselves or they go – start to exhibit very violent behavior in which they normally the, kill the themselves. The theory is that they see their worst fear. And so the theory is that they see their worst fears, but you they, there's a big speculation as to what the thing is. We piece together some stuff from the book. Eric, do we have that video? Yeah, so we have a concept of what it looks like pieced together from the novel – by John Mallerman and then the Netflix thing as well. So we have this clip of that. You were just driving. Oh my God. And then she saw something. What's <laughs> wrong? Please stop, please stop. <laughs> Joke for like three weeks, dude. I oh, know. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Oh no, so if you listen to the audio podcast, we just cut in the Gus calendar of Gus in front of the fireplace. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be something good. I knew, <laughs> I knew it was gonna be funny. Yeah, you couldn't... never set up shit like that. It was that either seriously. that or uh, sharks singing "Take Me Home, Country Road." Oh my god, that was so great. That was so great. We also did a plug. We did RT Life video doing the bird box challenge that Netflix urges everyone not to do, and we... Yeah, don't do it. Just watch us We do say it. don't try it at home. I mean, I we didn't did know it, it was in a the... thing, because they were making the video, and I thought, I wonder if anybody else has done this, and I looked it up. No, the same thing happened to yeah. us. We, we were going to do it, because we thought it would be a fun concept, and then that's when we saw all the posts about people saying, don't do this, Netflix is urging people not to, it's dangerous, blah, 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 it's a liability. It's yeah. dangerous um, to walk around without being able to see? Of course it is, yeah. Well, also, uh, when you... But, throwing chairs at your friend's head well, while they're doing it. The fact that you're saying it's the bird box challenge, they're probably just terrified of the liability mm -hmm. involved with that. Right. Um, but we did it in a very controlled environment with people spotting the whole time, and we mentioned that in the Netflix video. Netflix also don't recommend being blind. They advise against it. Yeah. Well, you know, it's tough when you're a company and, you know, like you use either their trademark or their logo, and it seems like you're endorsing a shitty internet video. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I literally that. heard the entire control room. Here, Eric, yeah, here. Like this is better. <sighs> <laughs> Enjoying that delicious red drink out of your uh, <laughs> Rooster Teeth Red. <laughs> what is that? Can you say what it is? Gatorade. Are you sick? No. Okay. Do you need electrolytes? Something going around. Always. It's that time of year. Oh, my, oh by the way, my uh, when we're moving, I went through all my, that big kit I have of apocalyptic stuff. My five-year rations just expired. Like, they expired this month. So I see them. 
What? I see him. Blaine's eating them. Oh. So. Oh. We could have we could have had a feast. That would have been great for the podcast. That I a bit. Do you really want to eat something that's five years old? Have you not seen the yeah, videos? It's of not expired. Eating like MREs from 40 years ago. So well, uh, I don't yeah, or people who drink like the guy who drank the crystal Pepsi. Yeah. Oh, and there's a LA couple of and everybody like barfs after they do it. I I couldn't that was it seems like a bad idea. But the MREs are designed for that. Yeah, but these are specifically five year rations. Yeah, we're at, like, we're, if Blaine's eating it. Yeah. We well, I had one too. So Blaine could eat it, but we can't? Do you really did you want them? I just think it would have been a good segment. It would have been a great segment. But you've already tried them on the podcast. We already did this once. What? Where do you, I brought the rations and you tried them, the little biscuits that are coconut. But they weren't expired? No, but they weren't expired. But the, it's just like, it's just the same thing later. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the podcast is! We just take the same jokes we made three years ago and then they come back. Exactly, again. if it's been two years, it didn't happen, right? We can tell the joke again? I think you should bring oh, them in. real fast, before we're done. I wanted to, to say something. Last week, I told you that I was having a- I had a problem with a package. Sorry, let me get comfortable for this. <laughs> Wait, is this the- Last- okay, so last- last time we, we did the podcast, uh, I had- Two packages that UPS said they delivered to my house. Oh, they yeah, weren't yeah. at my house, and I think where we ended it was I had called them and they said it was delivered to somewhere else, and Rudel had signed for it. At the front Rudel. desk. At the front desk. At the front desk. <laughs> UPS somehow delivered these packages to Rooster Teeth. Instead of them being at my house, they were here. Do you have an account that has both addresses? I have an account that has my home address, but it does not have the Rooster Teeth address oh, that's on creepy. it. that's creepy. And they cannot explain to me how it happened. I went to them and they were like, yeah, if, if a person adjusted it, we would see it in the logs here. But uh, it was just systematic. The computer must have recognized your name and sent it to your work address instead of your house. They said the computer did that? They're like, yeah, it was a total freak accident. It won't happen again. It happened twice on Friday again that's after that. fucking it's, crazy. It now happened to four packages in the last week that I've ordered have come to Rooster Teeth. Can so you just start someone, using a different name? Is there I'm, someone I'm gonna have EPS to, who knows who you are and thinks that you would no, rather have it at work? No, they said there's no human intervention. If, if it was human intervention, it would have been logged in the system. That it's, it's whatever their computer that's scanning it. What if you're having something deeply personal delivered and it ends up at work? Yeah, I don't want my dildos here. <laughs> <laughs> also, they're all in boxes. No one's gonna open a shit. People open shit all the time here. I don't think I've ever had anything delivered here unopened. Well, you're, you're, the it's different when you're in Chief Hunter. Yeah. None of my stuff's ever been touched here. Me neither. I'm not worried about that, but I'm just worried about, like, what if the computer decides my shit needs to go to a different address? You know, it's like, why out of all the- and they can't explain it. It's like, why out of all the fucking addresses in Austin is it here? Like, I know I work here and I get shit sent here. It just doesn't make fucking sense that it's just choosing arbitrarily sometimes to come here. And it's not all, like, Amazon shit. It's like from different companies. Yeah. What? It's fucking weird. And anytime I get on the phone with someone, they're like, oh, you got your packages? Oh, okay, cool. Everything's fine. Yeah, then. right. Like, they don't fine. care. Like, as long as they know I got the package, they're, as far as they're concerned, it's case closed. It is. What if two people with your name? Right. Is it just like eeny, meeny, miny, mo? Is it which Gustarola gets something? I don't There's fucking know. Not many sense. Gustavo It does not but make still, any sense. Still, gets no human my... intervention? That's chaos. So who is Rudel? Yeah, who's Rudel? So, so Rudel apparently, when, the, when those got delivered, we were not accepting packages at Rooster Teeth, so I went to our landlord's office at AFS. So Rudel must work at AFS. Or maybe they just wrote Rooster Teeth. And no, it was R U D L E. But that was still stuff that was meant oh. to go to, to your my house. House. Ruddle. And Rudel had it. Rudel had it. Rudel? Rudel? Yeah. So anyway, I just thought it was so fucking weird. You can't let this go. You have to get. To I, the every of it. time it happens, I call them, and they're, they're like, just "Oh, buy you got, a bunch of shit." You got the package? Oh, okay, cool. Everything's fine. Can you say where the package came from? Uh, Did they all come from the same place? No, no, no. So, on the the original two packages I talked about were from two different companies, and then the two on Friday were both from Amazon. Dude, so it's three different places. Can I, I want to send you mail and see where it goes? Yeah, I want to UPS you something. Amazon has the greatest packaging in the world. They've got that fucking down to a science. Like, yeah, when you want to go steal a package off someone's porch, you know right away if it's Amazon or no, not. But they've got they've got this. They got this tape that's per it holds the package together, but you can tear it by hand. The stringy tape. Yep. They got it. It's perfect. No, it's they not, got it. They it's got not it quite different. the stringy tape. Except they have one better. package that's not like that. It's the white padded envelope. Do you ever get that? Oh, with yeah, the perforation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't open that thing. You like chewing on it and everything. It's like one of those like uh plastic things they wrap electronics in. Just rip it. I could can't do it. I, I like I'm like rip I shit. think there's a, a there's, little there's a tab you can pull. A tab in there that there's you There's a tab. Yeah, there is. I got no tab. There's a tab you can pull. I but you're full of shit. I'll show you. The post show. There's packages over there. We're gonna open someone's package on the post show. Let's do it. All right. We'll, we'll, find, the, we'll find their uh, personal thing from home. Yeah. <laughs> that we shouldn't see. The FedEx open is the most satisfying one. Yes, it is. Cardboard strip. Like, 
I don't know. I just hate the ones that are glued and you gotta like undo the glue yeah. or anything. I also hate when they have electronics and they got that little clear sticker over the seam that you gotta like uh, yeah. cut. You gotta like cut under your fingernail. Like, yeah. But Barb and I had experience today. It's like we talked about the company being 420 people. Sometimes we forget how well we know each other. What's that? Nice. 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 Uh, how many, how well we know each other that we just have conversations. And Barb and I had like this wildly inappropriate conversation just like in front of these people. You, I don't even remember it. I had this package. I got a little heat gun. To, <laughs> I showed it to you yeah. to take stickers off stuff. It's the greatest thing I ever bought in my life. Ten bucks. I never have to worry about stickers on shit ever again. I could heat use, it up. Could use a blow dryer. <laughs> But I had it, and Barb goes, "What you got there? A dildo?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, that's what that was." And I go, "I go, oh, they're gonna know it's not a." I go, "It's a dildo. It's a little heat thing for stickers." I go, "But that reminds me, I saw this story about somebody who had a butt plug, uh, <laughs> and they had a butt plug, and on the like the back of it, the part that sticks like out of your butt, the flange. Yeah, they got the flange. <laughs> oh, man. They attach one of those spring door stoppers, like, <laughs> they, they, and I just thought it was so funny. And so Barb and I are just standing here in this lobby talking about butt plugs and what, dildos. What's funny is in front of newer I, employees, I overheard you guys having that conversation, and I already forgot about it. Like I didn't even give it a second thought. <laughs> yeah, that's, I, I, I was at my computer either. answering emails, like, oh, that's funny. That's like, so <laughs> when you're like, oh, we had this conversation. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's just like, well, at least you were able to go onto a podcast and talk about cum tribute <laughs> with to round it all. Other employees. With all the Good night, people on the internet. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Take tone.